Hello, everybody. We're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. We will see if we can get that great one, Fallow Deer number three, today. I did a little bit of grinding last night. Not a lot, but I did a little bit. I did get another level five to spawn. Actually, two of them. Uh, but our bad luck streak still seems to be continuing because that's only two more fives showing up over the course of... Let me check real quick. Let me get my counter up. So I killed, like, maybe 50 last night after the stream was over. And, yeah, only ended up getting, like, two more fives to spawn. So uh, we're still on kind of a dry streak. But I did save them for you guys to see me take them down uh, during this stream. Also, I'm doing my best to shoot down one of these zones. I found where that uh, weird, uh, where that weird deer was going. The one that just kept running along here. You guys remember we had a herd that kept running across here and would go over here. It was one of the herds in here. There was two of them. So I deleted the zone and I got them to move around. So now the herd that I'm hunting and that herd that had that extra three combined into this zone and the other herd went over to this zone, which is perfect because I wasn't hunting that other herd anymore and now they're over here. Things worked out pretty good. So it looks like if you delete the ones in this area, they really don't go that far. Which is awesome. So we got a new setup and it's a lot more efficient in my opinion. That's pretty good. Holy miles with the uh, two months, dude. Really appreciate it. Uh, Matt Dog with the uh, eight months as well. Uh, let's read Miles' message. Here you got a second great one fallow and I would like to know what fur type it is. It was a fabled hooded, Miles. It was a fabled hooded. We got it a, a couple of streams ago. I think it was two fallow grinding streams ago. It was pretty crazy, man. Pretty crazy. Definitely happy with that con with that uh, fur type. Where's your HUD? Oh, I was taking screenshots. I was taking screenshots for a thumbnail. There we go. Now the HUD's back. And let's move over here. Shot 300 fallow and only two level fives. Any tips? Uh, you could try herd management, which is essentially just leaving the level twos. And eventually that will get you more uh, diamonds over time. So this is where the two level fives are. Look at that guy. That guy is pretty nice looking. It's a white with the big rack. I I'm pretty excited to take this guy down. Uh, we're going to stack them for a little bit longer though because I'm going to try and shoot down uh, the one herd over here. In fact, did I shoot it down already? I can't remember. I know last night I got one of them to turn at least. But I don't know if I got the second one. Uh, you know what? Let, let's just shoot these fives. Let's shoot the fives. I know you guys probably want to see me shoot them. So let's do it. Line up on the big boy first. And down they go. Starting the day off with a bang. Hopefully the uh, second one will make it. I know one of them will for sure. Tyler, thank you for the three months, dude. Let's get great one number three. We're going to go for it, dude. We're going to do it. Hopefully we can get him today. If we don't, hopefully it'll be within the next few days. Oh, that's a four. We need to blast that guy as well. Also, we're going to real quickly try the Hyperion, Hyperion out for a little bit. See if we do better with it. I feel like sometimes I'm just more accurate with the Hyperion. Because it's got a... Uh, Wider field of rain or field of view. Or not field of view. What's the word? It's got a better field of view. That's the that's the word I'm looking for. Better field of view. Will this guy make it? Unlikely, but maybe. Yeah, not even close. <laughs> 236, dude. Ah, that's so bad. So bad. And this guy is guaranteed to make it. But the question is, is this a 270? Is this guy a 270 plus? Oh, 267 max. Wait. That's taxable, though, because it's a white fur type. That is pretty big. What a way to start the day. Holy man. That is beautiful. That is such a beautiful... Beautiful fallow deer. Love to see it. All 
I have 200 kills. Some of my zones won't respawn. Do you have any idea why? Um, it's likely that they were solos that you shot out of there and they moved to other areas. Um, sometimes I've also noticed that if you have a couple bucks in a herd, sometimes one of them will not respawn where you shot it and it'll respawn in a different area. Either way, I feel like it's probably in a different area. That seems likely. Hey, Pike, how's it going, man? Good to see you. Yeah, Grayson Diamond already. We had that stack from last night. I did a bit of grinding off camera, and I did a little bit of stacking to try and shoot down a couple other zones. In fact, I also deleted a couple zones on purpose because uh, I didn't like the places they were in. I deleted these two right here. All right, technically, yeah, these two right here. And they appeared here. Two of the herds went there, and one of the herds went here. So it ended up being better in the long run. So hopefully our grind will be smoother now. That would be amazing. Nice, Cole. That's awesome, dude. How many kills am I in? We're currently 344 kills in on grind number three. Outdoor for life. Thank you for the super chat, dude. Welcome to the stream. When did I get great one number two? Uh, two days after the first great one. It was like 395 kills for grind number two. Grind number one was 428. And this grind is currently at 344. If we keep up with the trend of a great one every 400-ish kills, then we should get it soon. If not, then who knows how long this grind will be. Oh, no worries, Nathan. No worries. Is a 1,053 scoring croc big? I believe it is, yes. Uh, that should be decent at the very minimum. I don't know too much about the max scores for them, so... Not sure. Does anybody in chat know what the maximum score is for the crocodiles? Hey, Crow, hope your day is going well. It's going great, JTM. Having a great day. Final shot, and boop. Got him. It won't let me click. There we go. You ever have this thing where you click, and it doesn't, like, it, it doesn't act as if you clicked? Why are fallows so quick for great one? Nobody really knows, Caden. They seem to be very similar to moose in spawn, in, like, spawn rate. People get moose sub 500 kills very commonly, and most of the time it's sub 1500. Like, at the most. Fallow are the same way in kill count wise. However, they're really easy to kill. And they're really easy to kill lots of them quickly. And so you're seeing tons of people getting them super fast. But it's actually the same kill counts as moose. Nobody really knows why though. And we probably never will. <laughs> yes, laser. Hey, that's fine, though. That's fine with me. You're 750 kills with no great one fallow. Hopefully, you'll get it soon, Jack. Hopefully, you'll get it soon. Is a white fallow deer rare? No, it's not a rare. It is an uncommon. But it's a very cool-looking uncommon, I gotta say. Big fan of it, personally. Do a quick little scan over here. Because we do have one solo that keeps running around this area. Sometimes he spawns like over here. Other times he spawns over here. That's the three. And other times it spawns over here. That's our two. Okay, he's not here this time. So I'm a noob and how do you like stack zones? Um, okay, so I'd say the best, best way to learn that. And by stack zones, are you talking about just like stacking diamonds in zones? Or are you talking about stacking the level twos for herd management? Either way, I've got guides on the channel. If you go to the channel and then find the little search bar on the channel... Or you can even just type in Scarecrow and then, like, uh, Scarecrow the Hunter stacking. And it should bring it up. 
Or you can do uh, Scarecrow the Hunter, um, Herd Management Guide. Like, there is a lot of guides I've made on it. That would be probably the best way to get all the info you want, and then you can also uh, play it back if you need to see it again. Oh, hey. A good four there. Hunter11, thank you for the super chat. I'm unlucky because I'm 1,695 kills in with no great one. Ooh. <laughs> Unfortunate, dude. It is what it is, though, man. I imagine eventually I'll hit a grind like that, too. Who knows? This grind could even be that. Got him. I think we only have one left here. I think there's only one shootable buck there. Nice creative. That's the one that'll come back as the great one, obviously. That's going to be your great one, I bet. Got one there. Ah, uh, Gav, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Hey, Scarecrow, I'm a huge fan. I've also been grinding Great One Fallow and got it. Good luck. Nice, dude. That's awesome. What combination did you get? Hopefully you got the combo you wanted. How do you keep motivation to play the game and not get bored? Ah, uh, grinding is what does it for me primarily and also making content on things. Like, uh, knowing that it's not just... <laughs> me that I'm doing the grinding for and that I'm grinding also for your guys' entertainment keeps me motivated. How are your zones so consistent? Because I've hunted the map pretty thoroughly and managed down the rest of the zones. It's a matter of just hunting your entire map and figuring out what places are consistent. Everybody's map is going to have some consistent zones and some inconsistent ones, and it's a matter of figuring out which is which. <laughs> yes, it's nice. Oh Three more down. Holy Pike with the 2069. Doing the hardest great one grind, a sanctuary grind. So far, I got three level nine roos, one rare roo, albino level six, also light brown croc, mellow one, four level five fallows, seven level nine red deer, and a pie level seven in 97 recent. Dude, that's insane. You know, I think the sanctuary purposely has higher spawn rates for all those trophies so that we can get a look at them. That's my theory is that uh, there's got to be like increased spawn rates of stuff in the sanctuary since it's meant for like viewing everything. I definitely think that's what they've done. I think they made it easier to get stuff to show up there. Since it, like, doesn't take up a slot in your population as far as we know. Uh, we need to go back here and see what's in the close zone. Oh my gosh, Z2X, thank you for the super chat as well. Do I shoot solo zones if they're not twos? Um, if you are doing herd management and you want to get the most out of it, Yes, you would have to shoot those solos because they're still going to affect your respawns, right? So you'd have to do it if you're doing herd management. If you're not doing herd management, you don't have to kill the solos unless you want to. But if you're doing herd management and you want to get the most out of it, yes, you do need to kill every everything that's a like big three or above. No matter where they are. My gosh, Outdoor Life, thank you for the super chat as well, man. I am 150 kills into my grind with two diamonds, one troll, a melanistic, and a level 4 piebald. Dude, that level 4 piebald, I'm kind of jealous, not going to lie. I've been trying to get some big piebalds, but have not been able to find any. That's really lucky, dude. Sounds like your grind's been going pretty good. That is a lot for 150 kills. Mela, piebald, troll, two diamonds. Looking good, man, looking good. Nothing over there. What was my second great one, Fallow? What did it look like? Uh, it was a fabled hooded with the Irish elk rack. 
It looked really good. Like, I was surprised that I liked it as much as I did. Two more down. Unlock half of the new map in 30 minutes. Nice, Nathan. Nice. Also, guys, I got a cool little uh, mini series coming very, very soon on the channel. Where essentially I'm just going to comb my entire Emerald Coast map and try to get every single trophy off of it, right? Because anytime a population is generated on a new map, right? You have a bunch of initial spawns. Usually there's a few diamonds and rares. So I'm doing a series of just scouring the entire map and trying to figure out what trophies we have on there. And shooting a bunch of stuff along the way to try and get some good respawns for stuff like the Rusa Deer because I badly want a diamond one. So I've already got two videos recorded on it, and, uh, you know, I hate to hate to leave you guys on a crazy cliffhanger, but our best trophy to date in Emerald Coast has been acquired. And to add to the suspense a little bit, it was also a disappointment. I'll let you guys uh, think about what it could be. But it's going to be a crazy video, I'll tell you that. I have actually had a lot of fun just roaming around on my single player Emerald Coast. Come on, give a hint. I did. That was my hints. 238. That is not a bad fallow, honestly. Pretty good. When is the video coming out? So that one will actually be coming out in three days because uh, tomorrow's video is going to be part one of exploring Emerald Coast single player. The next day is going to be our great one, Fallow Deer number two. And the day after that will be the uh, episode that I'm talking about where we got that crazy trophy. I can tell you one thing. At least one person in chat has got close. Close. That's the last hint you guys get. At least somebody in chat has got close to guessing. What gun do I use? 300 Magnum. I use the 300 Magnum for anything that does have no chance to make diamond. Or uh, isn't a rare because it just gets them down quicker it takes them down much faster and that's more time that I can be shooting other stuff on the map and not tracking wounded deer like right there that doe is not hit vitally but she's gonna go down pretty quick cuz I hit her with the 300 three times <laughs> How do you get it? The 300 Magnum comes with the Yukon Valley DLC. So if you buy Yukon Valley, uh, then you get the 300 Magnum with it. And from then you can purchase it for 75k in-game currency. Guessing what? Everybody's trying to guess a uh, trophy that I've got for an upcoming video. I guess what you got. I guess what you got, but you already showed me. I did. Johnny already knows. You know, brother privilege. English is tough. Brother privileges. Hopping them and dropping them. Love to see it. Love to see it, man. Just found second level three piebald fallow off the grind. Nice, Tokyo. Nice. I'm still only on one piebald this entire time, which is kind of shocking, honestly. Oh, the fives are finally popping up. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I guess we were just on a bad streak the other day, so, or yesterday. Looks like it might be turning around because that's already another big five. Whoa. 
Hold up. We got another two there. We could leave that other two for now. Because I, I don't know which two is new, and I don't want to shoot the wrong one. Oh, those two are tiny. So is that one. Okay, let's leave all those twos. If anything, that just means I don't have to shoot from that zone. I can just shoot this one. 300... 335, okay. Nice, we got it. Holy. I'm surprised we nailed that like that. Do I prefer the Argus or the Hyperion scope? I like both of them for different situations, and honestly, on different days, like, some days I'm feeling one scope, some days I'm feeling the other. I think I've definitely used the Hyperion more, but uh, the Argus is really nice if I'm doing a lot of long range shooting. 254, that's a diamond. Diamond number two of the day. Beautiful. That is definitely a breath of fresh air. Already two diamonds on the day. Yesterday we struggled, man. Over 200 kills and only getting like three diamonds, I think. We had three diamonds and like almost 300 kills. I think it was like 250. I think it was like 250. Three diamonds and two trolls and 250 kills. It was brutal. For HM, like that's brutal. And today we're already doing way better. We've got three fives down. Two of them made diamond. Now, let's just hope we can continue that trend. I mean, that's a pretty big four right there. Gonna need to get him to move. All right, little does, get out of the way. I don't want to shoot you. Hey, Smash, how's it going, dude? Hope you're doing amazing, man. It's good to see you. How have you been enjoying this update? Hopefully you've been liking it. It's probably my favorite update of all time, to be honest. Starting up my fallow grind on Tiaboroa, got my first white diamond. Nice, Peyton. Those are one of the coolest things you can get on the grind. Like, aside from super rares, obviously. The white and chocolate diamonds are some of the coolest diamonds. All right, they're in their zone. No mail, unless I'm missing him. No, no mail. Interesting, okay. I, you know, I feel like I'm missing a few males. Something kind of makes me feel like maybe we had some males go to a new zone. Something tells me I should do a little search. And there's those two. That's the three we left yesterday. You know, we should probably check on this zone. I wonder if anything has moved in there. It's totally possible something could have moved there. We should probably do a quick check. I agree the update's one of my favorites. It's so good, man. It really has just blown my mind what they've been able to do. Let me see. Do I have a tent available? No. Okay. What can I remove? Mm. I can remove this one, I think. I won't need to go over there anytime soon. Got a big piebald white tail. Nice smell. Uh... Uh, white tail, a diamond white tail, and a leucistic plains bison. Holy dude, congrats. That is awesome. You love to hear it. At three zones where they wouldn't come in and there were level fives in the zone. 
Yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. You know, I'm wondering if sometimes maybe they're just late to their zones. It's totally possible they're just not in the zone at the time that we're checking them. But it does make you wonder, like, did they just go missing? Nice, TIE Fighter. Dude, five rares before a diamond is absurd. Do I use a 100% keyboard? I do, Cole, and I also have the macro keys on the side of the keyboard as well. I have the Corsair um, KB100, I believe. Is it KB or KG100? I think it's KB100. Could they just despawn? No, nothing will ever despawn. Unless the developers do like a manual reset on an animal. But that only ha that only happens on like big updates where they make changes to an animal. So you shouldn't have anything disappear like between the update and now. Where on the map is the sanctuary? It's in the north, like right above the top middle outpost. In fact, it is the top middle outpost, kind of. You got an albino roo? Nice, Elaine. That's awesome. Definitely one of my favorite rares off of Emerald Coast. Uh, really hoping we can get one on the live build. Getting that one in early access really, like... It was kind of sad getting it in that. Just wishing that I could have it in the live build. Great one yet. No great one yet, Daniel. But the night is still young. We still got plenty of time to try and get something. We will probably do about like three and a half to four hours of grinding today. And we've only been going for like half an hour, so we got at least three hours left in the stream. Hey Cole, how's it going, man? Welcome back, sir. Do I like fishing? Yes, I love fishing. Spent uh, quite a few, like, hundreds of hours fishing in real life. Most of it through, like, my childhood. Haven't had as much time the last few years to go fishing, but I still love it. How many kills? 361 currently. Three... 61. I changed the skin on the tent, by the way. I think it's looking pretty beautiful. Now, let's check this zone and see what's here. I knew it! There's another buck here. Wait, no. No, there isn't. Never mind, there isn't. Why did I think I saw three? Okay, yeah, we can still leave that. I wonder if Fallow can be over there. I don't think they can. But imagine if they could, that'd be, uh... That'd be interesting. Be very interesting. Okay, so where do we want to dedicate this tent to? Uh, we could always double back here and see if there was any we missed. Since we haven't main menu yet, we just reset the time, so it'd be other or it'd be like ones we hadn't shot and got a respawn from. So we can see if there was any we missed the first time around. Oh yeah. Yeah, there was a at least one that was del Yeah, there was two that did not get to their zone. When we checked here the first time. I knew I was missing some. I knew there was a few that we were missing. That is the unfortunate thing about the fallow grind. There's always a few that are late. And it can really throw you off. If you're not aware that some can be late. Nice. We got them both down. Do I remember Aviator? Yes, that name does sound familiar. Uh, from like a year or two ago, right? I believe so, at least. Sounds like a familiar name.
How to keep track of your kills. I use an app on my phone called Click Counter. It's a pretty efficient way of keeping track of your kill count on the grind. Hello? Why can't I pick it up from that angle? There we go. That's so weird that it wouldn't let me pick it up from that angle. I already answered you, Landon. Please don't spam my chat. Fallow are not an HM friendly grind. Ah, they are if you can manage down most of the solos, but the problem is there's so many solos, it's hard to manage down every single one of them. I've got it in a pretty good state, but I'm still like... I, I still have some go missing from time to time. But it's definitely been better than Moose, I can tell you that. It's easier to HM than Moose and Bear. Uh, not as easy as Whitetail and Red Deer. Uh, but one thing that is interesting is... Both Red Deer... And, uh, Whitetail Deer... Take much longer to manage. But there's less, like, problems with solos, especially with Whitetail, so they end up being easier in the long run, but they take a long time. Fallow Deer, they HM super quick, but you've got so many solos that are just really annoying. Like, it's not that Fallow HM is hard, it's that it's annoying at the beginning. They're just really annoying to manage down. All right, everybody. Let's do a poll real quick. I want to see what y'all's kill counts are on Fallow Deer. Now keep in mind this is going to be a poll on whether or not you have got the great one. And if you did, like, what range of kills it was in. Don't put it in chat. Don't put it in chat. I'm doing a poll. Uh, you guys can vote on the poll. I don't want the I don't want the chat super filled up with numbers because there's no way I'll be able to see them all. It's easier in the poll, so I can actually get a, a percentage. Okay. Be sure to vote on the poll, guys, and let me know. <laughs> yes, it's, oh my gosh. Uh, Lucas, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Got a diamond legendary kangaroo. Nice, man. Nice. That is awesome, dude. That is awesome. Okay, so... Oh, wow. Holy. All right, so... Yeah, it seems like... The majority of you have not got your great one yet, but those that have, most of them got it in 500 or less, as of now at least. We'll leave the poll up for the rest of the stream and just see what the percentages are at the end. Very interested to see what the uh, average is overall. Okay. Got a level 8 leucistic rue. That is awesome, Wild Rage. Congrats, dude. Where's the flying Mufon noise at? Oh, we got rid of that a while ago, Smash. It's now like one of my reactions to a great one.
You have to leave the map after every run. Um, when your runs are as quick as mine, yes. Otherwise, the animals don't have enough time to stop being spooked and come back to their zones. Uh, if you grind a little bit slower or are hunting like your entire map, you might not have to go to the main menu. I have to, though, because my runs are pretty quick at this point. And so by the time I finish a run, uh, all the animals are still spooked. Like, they're all still in the nervous state, which makes it impossible to get them all back to their zones. Got a random one over there. Really interesting. Oh, that's a five. Yeah, the fives are popping up more now. <laughs> yes, it's, oh my God. We now have three twos there, dude. Didn't we have a fourth one as well? Whoa, that's a... That's a 50-50 rack, dude. That's a 50-50 rack. That's insane. That's a 50-50 rack. Level five. Oh my gosh. Well, let me make sure I didn't miss any memberships. Uh, Kaden, thank you for becoming a member, dude. Really appreciate it. Or thank you for the one month, I should say. Landon, thank you for the super chat. How do you feel about people who trade on Xbox personally? I feel like it's cheating the game. Yeah, I don't like it either, Landon. I don't like trading on Xbox or PlayStation either. Because uh, it's essentially like duping. Which in pretty much any gaming... Uh, in pretty much any game is considered to be wrong. z -bon, thank you for the one month, dude. Really appreciate it. These streams are amazing. I'm glad you enjoy them. And, uh, Lucas Funk, thank you for the super chat. You're who I want to be like in Call of the Wild. Well, thank you, dude. That's very nice of you to say. I really appreciate that. Ah. Oh, is this guy gonna make it? That's the bigger version of that rack. Look at that. That's the bigger version, and this is, like, the middle... The middle diamond rack. This is gonna be big, I think. 264. <laughs> okay, that's taxable. Look at him. Dude, our diamonds are popping like nothing, finally. Once again. Once again, our diamonds are popping up like nothing. They're, they're just... They're just super consistent again. I guess last night was just a bad night. I think we just had a terrible night last night for diamonds. And now it's getting better. That's already, like, what, three new diamonds? Just this 40 minutes of streaming? We're definitely picking the pace back up. So that brings us to six diamonds in 370 kills, which is still not good, but since we're starting to see them a little bit more, it'll definitely kick up a little bit. Uh, we got two more to grab. Let's just ATV over. Oh, got you, Slazer. Well, tell Aviator that I hope he gets better. And, uh, tell him hi back for me. When did I get great one number two? I got it, like, what, two days ago? I think it was two days ago. Yeah, two days ago we got it. 395 kills for grind number two. Uh, now for grind number three, we're already 369 into it. How's the puppy? She's doing good. Being crazy as always. She's finally getting comfortable in the place, so she's getting a lot more, like, hyper. And becoming more of a handful, as puppies are. <laughs> Giant Diamond Fallow Deer, 266.6 I got. Nice, big bass fishing. That's quite the score as well. It's 93 kills on PC in three hours. Hold on, let me scroll up. Three hours of grinding while finding zones good. Oh, yeah, if you're still in the finding zones process, that's about what I was doing. I was at about 30 an hour. Yo, Nate, what's up, man? The luck has turned around. We're already getting more diamonds than yesterday. We're, we're actually back on track. I guess yesterday was just a really bad streak. Because uh, we had one stacked diamond when we started the day. Uh, we killed that one, and we've had two more spawns since then. 
both of them were really big. Or I suppose like two of the three we killed were big. One of them was max weight, the other was almost max weight. Both were mid 260s. You slept all day, Johnny? Hey, it happens. Sometimes you just have days like that. I think it was yesterday. Yeah, it was definitely yesterday. I, I laid down for like a good portion of the day because I had a big headache. So I feel you, man. Sometimes you just need to. Sometimes you just need to chill and lay down. Nice. We got two bucks here. Holy. Forgot to taxi a level five troll Mela. Oh no, Brayden. Sorry to hear that, dude. At least it was a troll and not a super rare that you forgot to tax. But I mean, yeah, it still sucks. Still unfortunate, man. Was it just one of those situations where, ooh, whoa, 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 247 minimum on a level four. That's a big four. That could be diamond. Jonathan Cena, thank you for the gifted membership. Congrats to Walker Spivy. You just got gifted that membership. Congrats, dude. That is awesome. But yeah, that's a basically... Like, it's almost guaranteed to be a diamond. Though there's still a small chance that it won't be, so I'm not going to get my hopes up. That could be a diamond. 248.5? Yeah, probably. It's probably just barely below. It's wide, though, man. That is, like, extra wide. The top tines look good, too. Look at how long they are. It's a diamond! 253 level 4! That's actually really big for a level 4 diamond. We're going to tax him. I don't have one that's this wide with this rack. That actually kind of shocked me. Like, I thought it would be, like, maybe 250 and a half if it was diamond. Not 253, though. That's big. That's real big. What a pretty diamond. That is really cool. Balladeeran lowest estimate is 257. Nice fishing bros. That's going to be a giant. That's likely 260s, I would say. Pretty sick, dude. Pretty sick. Uh, there's that small male. All right. I think we're good for that run. Is 250 kills good? Well, it depends on the context of what you mean. Is 250 kills good for what? Okay, so I'm going to take a look at the poll real quick. So, out of 400 votes, 12% to you say you got your great one in under 500 kills. 8% say that you got your great one in 500 to 1500 kills. 3% of you say that you got it in 1500 kills or more. And 77% say that you have not got your great one yet. So the majority that have got it, got it sub 500. That's pretty wild. That is pretty wild to think about. Just how quick it is. For a lot of people. Oh, it moved. Oh, well, he got away. We got one of them at least. How many diamond fallow deer do I have? I think we've got like 35 or 40 so far. But we're doing herd management, so diamonds are going to be a little bit more common than normal. Supposing 250 is good for fallow. Oh, you got your... Oh, you're saying you got your great one fallow in 250 kills. Yes, that would be good then. That's really good, actually. I haven't had one that low yet. My first was 428. Second was 395. Uh, we're currently on 374 kills for this grind, so... Got one there. All right, so we got a couple to shoot over there. Eh. 
And two. Lucas, thank you for the super chat. You think I will ever get a great one? I'm sure you will eventually, man. If you're if you're grinding for great ones and you don't give up, you just keep going, eventually you will get one. It's just a matter of time. The only question is like when? I'm sure you'll get one if you keep going. The biggest thing is just don't give up. Eighty-two more kills, I reckon. Maybe. I'd be happy with that. That's for sure. Nice. Two more down. Ah, uh, this lake's definitely losing a few. I think we just got more twos and threes here now. I think we just got more uh, that we've been leaving. I think that's all it is. Now the question is... Which of those twos are solos and which are part of a herd? Because I'd like to kill one that's from a herd and not a solo. Though I might just end up shooting the biggest one. Because I definitely don't want to have... I mean... We could leave the ones that are right here and maybe shoot one of the ones over there. Because we have a small three, I think. That we need to kill. I don't know, man. We got to think this through and not make the wrong choice. Yeah, I can't believe that, Nathan. That's wild, man. I didn't think a defective router would be holding you back. That's crazy. Yeah, that's a big boy. Either 230s or 240s or 250s. One of the three. When you see that rack, you know it's at least 230s. You got a Mela level 5 Zorb? That is awesome, dude. Great one on my map right now. Nice, Shaw G. Sounds like a lot of people have been having a lot of good luck with this map release. Ah, 242. That is not the giant version of that rack. Gotcha, Nate. Gotcha. So is it possible for you to just connect straight to your modem again? Or no? Big four. Sorry, ma'am. You're going down too. Uh, yes, Kevin. I am using HM. Great one. Fallow Deer has to be the best great one by far. Oh, for sure, dude. I love it. It's got to be my favorite as well. It's got a perfect combination of looking really good and being enjoyable to hunt. Like, it's not annoying like the moose was. Moose was, like, super annoying. Because they moved so much more. Hey, Kevin, how's it going? Yeah, we still haven't got number three. We have not got number three so far. But we're about 380 kills in, and this is about the range we got number one and number two. So maybe we'll get lucky and pop it soon. But I wouldn't be surprised. We got really lucky on the first two. Would not be surprised if we have like a thousand kill grind now. What rack and fur type was great one number two? It was the fabled hooded with the Irish elk rack. Honestly, a combination that looked really good that I didn't think I'd like as much as I do. It's actually pretty sick. Not gonna lie, pretty sick. How many zones do I have? Like 37 or 38? The Kinsko Fallow rack. Oh yeah. Because technically, if you guys didn't know, Hinsko was the first content creator to get the Irish Elk Rack. I showed it on stream first because mine spawned before he uh, did his stream. But he technically got his to spawn before I got mine to spawn. He just didn't shoot it till the next day because it spawned when he was off stream. 
But technically, Kinsko was the first uh, content creator to get the Irish elk rack. That's pretty awesome. We were close, though, man. We were second. I really want to get the blade rack, though. Uh, that's my goal now, is to get the blade rack. I don't care what fur type it has. I just want the blade rack. I have found that the blade rack looks good with every single fur type. From what I've seen, it looks good with every single one of them. Nice, we got them both. This is why we have to have two claiming tents there, is because uh, those two herds kind of move from each side of that zone. And I never know which side of the zone they're going to be on, so for speed purposes, I have two tents down here. That way, no matter where they decide to stand... On any given run, I can take them down. Now, this level 3 right here, it's questionable. I don't know if that's 130s or 140s. I think it's 130s, though. So, I've been leaving him. It's a tough one, though. It could be 140s. Did you know you could press W to move? Oh, my gosh, dude. That's groundbreaking. Pike, thank you so much for the super chat. I feel like the mocha fur is underrated. Dude, that's my favorite. That is my favorite. So I agree. I love that rack so much. It's so good. There we go. Mike, thank you for another super chat. Wasn't Zachy first to get the rack? Uh, yes, he was first, but I was talking for, like, content creators. Amongst the EW content creators, Kinsko was the first to get it. But yeah, Zaki was first overall, I think. He was the first one to post it in the uh, Discord. Whoa, 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 we got another new two. Oh, no, it's the end of the drink time. Okay, we don't want that two. Oh, gosh. Ah. Uh. Why are all these two showing up at my best zones? I don't want them here. Ah, uh, we're not going to shoot that one. I think I'm going to end up shooting one of these threes. One of the threes that, uh... Looks like a slightly bigger two. Uh, we have a couple that I could shoot. I need more shootables at this lake, though. Like, this is my best lake. I can't be, uh, losing this many shootables. Where's the best sandbar deer drink spots? Along the river is really good, and then also some of the lakes below the river. And some of the lakes above the river. There's actually a lot of good places for them. Look at all those little guys. I mean, we could shoot him. He's a small one. That guy actually is really... Or not small. He's a... Uh, bigger three. I think he's going to be top of the estimate. Let's just pop him. Let's pop that one. I need another shootable. My gosh, y'all are killing it with the super chats. I got to scroll up and make sure I'm not missing any. Hudson, thank you for the super chat. How many fallow to your great ones have you killed? So far, two, man. We got two as of now. Uh, C Money Tuning, thank you for the super chat as well. Can you show a zone guide? I actually already did a guide in my first Great One Fallow video. It showcases all the zones and I talk about how I grind as well. Um, Pike, thank you for the super chat. I got CJO to call it the Kins Crow Rack. Hey, that's the way to do it. The Kins Crow Rack. I like that. The Kins Crow Rack. That actually kind of rolls off the tongue well. I like that, Pike. And Hudson, thank you for the uh, super sticker. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it, dude. Got a two there. Okay, so... I think we got everything we needed. Yep, 
Yeah, I think Kins Crow rack sounds pretty good because we were the first two, the first two EW creators to get that rack, and it actually kind of matches because his name is Kinsko, and I'm Scarecrow, so Kins Crow. It's mainly joking, though. I don't necessarily want anybody to call a rack after me. I'm not going to claim a rack. Hudson, thank you for the super chat. Your videos are awesome. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it, man. And Painless Mink, thank you for the super sticker. Really appreciate it as well, dude. Y'all are just blowing up the super chats and the super stickers. My gosh. Y'all are just too good to me. I don't know what to say. It's kind of crazy. My gosh, Hudson with another super sticker. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Holy. Thank you so much once again. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Rest in pieces, ma'am. You were, you were next to him, so you're down. How many fallow deer zones do I have? 37 or 38? I can't remember which one. One of those. I still can't believe you did that, Nathan. Like, how dare you? You botched, like, one of the rarest things in the game, dude. Like, come on. Yeah, Brett, we are. Two more down. And another one bites the dust. When do you think you're going to end your stream? Also, love your content. I'm glad you enjoy the content, dude. Uh, stream will go for about... Probably two and a half to three hours from now. Two and a half to three more hours. Holy Kevin with the super sticker. My gosh. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much, as always. Kevin's the homie for anybody that didn't know, so... All right, nothing here. Nothing there. All right. Next run. You should play Red Dead Redemption 2. I've had a lot of requests to play it. Um, I don't know if I got the time to get into it right now, but maybe one of these days we can. Uh, but I definitely don't have the time as of now with all the grinding we've been doing. But possibly one of these days. Maybe as a second channel video. Got my first great one yesterday after nine hundred or 798 kills, 7 diamonds, 5 trolls, and 4 pies. He was a mocha with the blade rack. That is my dream combo, Tyler. That's super, super lucky. I'm pretty jealous, not gonna lie. Hunter 11 with the super sticker as well. Y'all are just, just going crazy with the super stickers. Like, oh my gosh. Thank you all so, so much. This is, this is crazy. This is crazy. And Call the Wild Connor, thank you for the super sticker as well, man. Holy! I got enough stickers to start a scrapbook now. And Hudson, thank you for the super chat. Did you do a kangaroo grind? I will definitely be hunting kangaroos. I will definitely be doing some kangaroo hunting. Um, There's that hot spot like in the north of the map. I'm probably going to just kill everything I see repeatedly in that area until I get some good respawns and there is kangaroos that rest and feed up there so I will be doing like kind of a kangaroo grind but it's gonna be like a kangaroo rusa deer and six million other things Pike <laughs> Pike bro whoops my finger slipped holy Pike thank you dude that's that's crazy that's pretty crazy man thank you so much Pike <laughs> the 69 dollar super chat and Hudson thank you for the super sticker again what is happening I know what to say <laughs> yes, it's, oh my God. I guess the only thing to say is thank you <laughs> this is incredible <laughs> what is happening what is happening guys <laughs> y'all yes, oh are just going wild I don't know I don't know what to say I, I don't 
Oh my gosh, where did I shoot the first one? It was over there, right? Okay, we'll have to go there at some point. Holy. Holy. I hope your 69th great one will be an elk. Could you imagine if they add an elk by the time we get to 69 great ones? Oh, that'd be great. That would be incredible. Wait. Ah, it's floating. No. Ooh, that's a five. And that's a four. Um, you know what? Screw it. We're going to let it float. It gets to float this time. My gosh, Remington, thank you for the super sticker. And Rated, thank you for the one month. Holy. We're giving Crow money now? It seems, Rated. You guys are just insane. I, I just... <laughs> I don't know what more, what more I can say. Besides the fact that this is incredible. Well, I gotta do the little trick to get him to move, I think. There we go. Ah, messed up the shots, though. That could have been great. Connor, thank you for the super oh, sticker as well. Oh, Y'all are crazy. He'll die. He'll, he'll die. My gosh. Oh, that's one of my reactions to spotting a great one, JTM. Um, that was my reaction when I spotted a drop tine rack white tail deer great one. That was the reaction that I had to spotting it. And so I decided to use it as an alert. There we go. One more down. Jeez, man. Zevin with the super sticker. Connor with another super sticker. Holy, like I said, this is enough stickers to start a scrapbook. It really is. Hudson. Hudson, bro. Bro. You didn't have to do that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I mean, even, even if we don't get a great one today, I think I already found the great ones. It's all of you guys in chat. Y'all are the great ones. Holy. My gosh, dude. That's absurd. Thank you. And Travis, thank you for the super chat as well. Can you get great ones in multiplayer? Yes, technically you can. If somebody has a great one on their map and they open up multiplayer, it will still be there and somebody could shoot it. And technically, if a multiplayer server is up for long enough and you're shooting a bunch of animals, eventually one could respawn as a great one in multiplayer. But yes, it is possible. Holy. That was a troll. Gosh, guys. This is insane. This is insane. Firework money? That reminds me, Johnny. We actually picked up some fireworks today for the 4th of July. So we got some fireworks ready for uh, the 4th when we come over. You're always one hour late. Ah, unfortunate pan pizza. Gotta have those notifs on, dude. If you got the notifications on... You'll know exactly when I go live. But you know, I get it. Notifs can be kind of annoying to see popping up all the time. We got another one there. Already. It's just going to be a, a stream of me claiming stuff at this lake, apparently. Because that's where they keep spawning. My gosh, I got to scroll up and read again. Um, Hunter 11, thank you for the super chat. Hudson's bank account? Yeah, it's probably looking a little bit lighter after that. Oh my gosh. Daniel, thank you for the super chat as well. Felt weird not jumping in. What was second gray one? First of all, thank you, dude. And uh, the second gray one was a fabled hooded with the Irish elk rack. Pretty crazy combination. It's actually my favorite of the two that I've got so far. It is definitely my favorite of the two. Holy. Later, Smoke. Thank you for dropping in, man. I hope you feel better. And I do a fallow grind with 26 zones. You can technically do a grind with any number of zones. It's just the more you have, the easier it'll be because you get to kind of pick and choose which 
zones you want to hunt more. But you can totally start a ground with 26. It's just if you're doing herd management, you are going to have to eventually find all of them to manage them down. Hi, thank you for the super chat again. One. One? One? I'm confused. One? Are you saying one kill till great one? Could you imagine kill 400 is a great one? Because we're at 399 right now. Oh! I jumped and got hit by a doe. And it launched me. <laughs> That's great. Zevin, thank you for the super sticker, dude. My gosh, you guys are nuts. What is happening tonight? I just... I can't even click properly. Night Raven, how's it going, dude? It's got Emerald Coast about five hours ago. First rough finds a nine with a score of 499 to... Oh my gosh. 499 to 575 found it two hours later and it scored 511. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Hudson, thank you for another super sticker. My gosh, this is ridiculous. What is happening? What is happening? Oh my gosh, man. You're just... You're, in, you're incredible. Oh, that's a potential diamond. Ike, thank you for another super chat. Oh my gosh. Holy. Pike with these 690 super chats, man. And the 69 super chat. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing there. Holy. Nice, Raven. I bet, man. 217. Where's the big boy? Here's the big boy. Ah, 246. It was close. He almost made it, but not quite. He just barely missed. Ah, uh, good four there. Isaac, thank you for the super chat as well. Holy man. Hi. Well, hi. Back to you too. Hope you're doing good, man. Yes, Bluely, I do. Holy. Having a rough fallow grind, though. Ooh, unfortunate, Carter. I believe in you, man. It'll happen eventually. Just gotta keep looking up, you know? Zevin, thank you for another super sticker. What is happening? What is happening? This entire stream has just been reading off super stickers and super chats. I'm just, I'm blown away. That's incredible. <laughs> That's insane. <sighs> Pike. Pike. Oh, my gosh. Oh my, oh my gosh. No, 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 don't, don't go that way. Where, where are you from? That's a big old solo. Don't go that way. I need you. Holy, I, I gotta actually like tab out and scroll up. Zevin, thank you for that super sticker. Uh, Pike, thank you for the $50 super chat. There's a piebald level five fallow that's guaranteed diamond in my sanctuary. <laughs> Oh no, Pike. That sucks, man. Ah, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. At least you can get some crazy pictures of it, right? And Cryan G Fishin, thank you for the super chat. Only my second stream of watching yours love the content. I'm glad you like it, man. Glad you like it. And welcome to the stream as well. And Kane, thank you for the super chat as well. You know we all love you. Why are you surprised? I, it, uh, I, n First of all, I can't speak properly. It never gets, you never get used to it, I'll tell you that. No matter how long you've been a streamer, you don't get used to it. Because <laughs> I still have the thought in my head of like, why would anybody just, why would anybody want to donate money to me? Like, what is special about me or my content? You know, even though I know you guys love my content, no matter how long I've been a content creator, there's always that thought in the back of the head. And it's like, it just blows me away every time. It's like, wow. Like, what did I do to deserve this? Uh, Trigger Appy, thank you for the super chat. What great one do you want to see in game next? I really want to see black tail deer, mule deer, or one of the elk species. That's like my top four. Jackson, thank you for another super chat, dude. Holy, holy. What is the sanctuary? So there is a sanctuary on the brand new map. It's at one of the outposts in the very north next to one of the lakes. And, uh... It's essentially a place where you can get a look at some of the species on the map. They're they're not something you can shoot. They're all in little pens. It's kind of like a zoo of, of sorts. 
It's got fallow deer, it's got red deer, kangaroos, and crocodiles. So you can look at them. Every time you open the game, it spawns new populations of those animals in that uh, sanctuary. Uh, so it gives you a chance to look at all of them. Hudson with another super chat. Holy man. Your content is better than all, all the others. Thank you, dude. Thank you. That is incredible. I really appreciate that. Y'all are just making me speechless. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. If the streams goes on for four more hours, I'll be able to donate probably, I hope. I don't know if I'll make it four hours, Pan Pizza. It, it all depends on how my, uh, how my daughter is later tonight. If she's really upset and wants me to get to bed, then uh, it'll probably, probably only be another like three hours that we're live. But if she stays up late or if uh, she goes to bed on her own without both mom and dad, then uh, maybe we'll be able to go four hours. But it's a big maybe. I don't know if I'll be able to make it four. Brian, thank you for a super chat as well. Just shot a 265 diamond fallow. Nice. That's a big one. Virtually anything 265 and above is pretty big for the fallow deer diamonds. That's uh, definitely cool. Definitely a good one. Okay, we're missing a herd. Let's reset again. We're missing our herd. Oh my gosh, Seven. <laughs> Hold off. Let me... I'm going to try and read that entire message without, like, running out of breath. Let me take a deep breath first. <gasps> Rah! <laughs> Money. E. <gasps> oh. Thank you, dude. Thank you. That's a big four again. Thank you so much, Seven. <laughs> I Guys, I've literally never seen so many super sticker and super chat things at the top of the chat. Like, it's to the point where I literally can't see all of them on screen. That's insane. Like, the list just goes on forever. Y'all are crazy. Y'all are crazy. Holy... Uh, I was trying to read off the entire message in one go, Johnny. <laughs> I was trying to read all of Zevin's message in one go. Ah, 244. Lots of them that are super close for these level fours, but we haven't had a level four diamond in a bit. Thank you, Justin. I appreciate that. You have nothing good in your sanctuary? Yeah, I've never seen anything good in mine, but I don't check it that often, so. Is that a new two? It is. That's a new two. You know what that means? We can shoot one of these threes that's here. Hey, thank you for the super chat too, dude. God has blessed me in my life, so I like to bless the people that make me happy, and I love to watch your videos. Thank you so much, Kane. That's very, that's very generous of you, man. I appreciate that. You're an absolute legend, dude. Which one looks bigger? Honestly, I think that two's bigger than the three. I think it is. Which one do we shoot? Yeah, like that three looks tiny. That two right there is probably the biggest one in this zone. I think we got to shoot him. Because we got that uh, new one right there who is definitely smaller. Crazy. Shoot the two is a lot bigger. That's what I'm saying, dude. The two looks way bigger than the three. Okay, that zone is being stubborn. Shoot the three, weight should be higher than the two. Yeah, but with herd management, it's more about the scores, right? I think it's about the scores more in uh, like relation to whether or not you get a lot of diamonds showing up. Pretty sure it's based off the score more than the weight. There we go. Big boy down. 
Is fallow like moose where if there are only two males in a zone, you can kill them both, they won't respawn? Um, well, moose aren't always like that. It's just sometimes with moose. And, uh, it's sometimes for the fallow as well. Not all the time, but definitely sometimes. That zone's not here now. now. They're being stubborn. Hundred and three whitetail kills. Do you think you will be here soon? Oh, 1036? Ah, uh, maybe. You're getting up there. Definitely getting up there. Ah, uh, gosh. Oh my god. <gasps> what is happening, bro? What is <laughs> What's happening? I just... Okay, I gotta tab out and read these. I got... <laughs> wow. Uh, Cryan, thank you so much for the super chat. I'm still kind of new to the game. What's the sanctuary? Also, I know you said in vids, but what's the easiest way to find rare animals for a casual player? Uh, for a casual player, probably running around in multiplayer in places that you see a lot of animals and just going to different servers. Like any place that you see a lot of animals, go there in multiplayer on multiple servers and checking like different people's populations and there's a good chance you'll find some stuff. And a sanctuary is a part of uh, the New Australia Reserve. If you go to the north of the map, uh, at one of the outposts that's next to a lake, there's like a little, like a zoo sanctuary type of thing. Holy... Uh, Hudson, thank you for the $50 super chat. What is the most money you've ever got donated? Um, in a stream, I think it was like $1,500. But in one singular donation, I think it was $500. And that was when the moose released. Holy man, thank you all so much. And Pike with the boom! <laughs> I said boom! Pike, bro. You didn't have to, man. You've already been, like, absurdly generous for a couple months at this point, dude. Like, holy. I really don't know what to say except thank you. You're a legend, man. An absolute legend. Jeez. I'm really just blown away. This has been an evening. Crazy, dude. Jeez. 241, he didn't make it. Ah, almost, though. Hey, we got a big boy there. Holy. Might, th might be the craziest stream ever. It's definitely up there. It's definitely up there as one of the crazier ones. The only thing that would make it crazier is if we get a great one. Holy. Hell, I can't get a PC to play with me and bro, bro. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny, Moof. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Pike's, Pike's crazy. Pike's wild. I've killed eight whitetail. Where is my fellow great one? <laughs> ah, it's uh, it's on your doorstep right now. Go outside and check it out. It's on your doorstep, I promise. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's really cool looking, Ryan. I'm honestly surprised at how good it looks. I didn't think I could ever like that rack, but I've actually kind of grown to like it because of that great one. Hey, T2, uh, you missed a lot, man. You missed a lot. <laughs> so I start doing HM with my fallow grind? If you want to, Tokyo. That's something where it's like... I, I'd, I'd say it's just if you'd like to, really. It's one of those things that takes a good amount of time to get going. But it's, uh, it's definitely worth it in the end. Because of the amount of diamonds you get. Just gives you more chances at super rares overall. Because of the increased number of diamonds. Holy.
Been grinding for about four hours in total, got two diamonds and an albino went into my lodge to place them and found a Melorocky elk that I didn't know I had. Wait, Melorocky elk? There is no Melorocky elk. Are you talking about Roosevelt elk? I'm assuming you meant Roosevelt's. Yeah, Taylor, it's been a wild day. Hey Ashton, how's it going? I'm glad you like the stream. It's been a fun one so far. For sure. Yeah, Luke, this has been a crazy one. It's been... It's been wild. I don't know what else to say about it. It's It's been wild. Ooh. Probably not a five. Looks like a big four. And we're getting a ton of big fours. Like a ton of big fours. This guy's probably low 230s. Not as big as some of them, but still pretty big. Ma'am, stay away, please. Holy. Oh, 216. It was smaller than I thought. We got a two there. Oh my gosh. Please, no. Not this zone. I don't want this zone to be twos. I like this zone. Honestly, the amount of twos we're getting makes me think we have not shot our map down enough. Like, I really feel like there's still some zones we need to shoot down further. But, like, just the other day it was going so well. So it makes me question it. Like, are we shot down enough? Are we not... Hard to say at this point. How many diamonds have we had today, guys? Has it been four? I think it's been four. I don't know. We might be far enough into it. Oh, yes, it's, oh my God. <laughs> uh, interesting name, but thank you for the super chat. What time did I start the stream? An hour and 24 minutes ago. Thank you once again, dude. And Outdoor for Life, thank you for the super chat as well. Quick update, I know I have three diamonds, a level four Mela and a level three Mela, and a level four Piebald and one Troll. Nice, Outdoor for Life, that's awesome. Sounds like you've had a pretty solid grind going on there. Lots of goodies popping up. There we go. Both those down. All right, later, Nick. Thank you for dropping in, man. Got an albino whitetail. Great one. It scored 412. Post it in the Discord, Crispy. Post it in the Discord, man. Ultra rare great ones are something that most people will not believe you until you post pictures of it, so... If you're in the Discord, drop a pic in the trophy shots. Because that's something that would be really big news if you got it. So definitely do whatever you can to get a picture in the Discord. And if you can't uh, get it into mine, try to get it into the official Hunter Discord. Because that's pretty big news if you did get one. Oh, there we go. Another five. Holy, more super chats. How many great one fallow uh, you got and how many kills? Uh, thank you for the super chat, Talon. Uh, we've got two of them. Each was around 400 kills. And we're currently 400 into our third grind. Um, Outdoor for life, thank you so much for the super chat again. And sub 200 kills. Oh, wow. All that in sub 200? That's crazy. Sounds like you're doing pretty good, man. That's a decent five. That should make diamond. That one should make it. Goodbye, you guys. Get out of here. Hey, the warden, how's it going, dude? What's max score for salties? I believe it's 1100. 
If I'm not mistaken, I believe it's 1100 kgs. Big four. 260. That's a diamond. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. I spoke too soon, I think. We're getting diamonds pretty consistently now. We are actually getting them very consistently again. So I guess uh, we just keep rotating on the males that we've got, and we should be fine. Um, That's actually really big for that rack, isn't it? No, never mind. I've got one bigger with this rack. So we're not going to tax him because I've got one much larger. That I think is like 263 or something. It's a big one, though. It's still a big one. But definitely not my biggest. Jake, thank you for the super chat, dude. Cleared a zone with a diamond. Rue, where did it go? Um, it'll likely be very close to where the old zone was. But it's probably not going to be in the exact same area. But definitely close, if I were to take a guess. This guy could make it. This four could make it. Unlikely, but it could. How often are you getting diamonds? Uh, roughly like every 20 kills, but we've been on a bad streak recently. Uh, today it's kind of turned around again though. Yesterday we went like 200 with barely any. Ah, I didn't make it close though. But uh, today we've killed about, I think like 79. We've killed like 79 fallow deer. And got like what, five diamonds I think. So we're definitely back on track with what we were previously. Which is pretty nuts. Pretty insane. Will I ever hunt black bear again? Yes. After I get a couple of the like combinations I wanted for fallow, we will go back to black bear. Do you think playing on PC is an advantage for grinding? Only if you're good with keyboard and mouse. If you're not good with keyboard and mouse and you're better with controller, then you're going to be better off there. It really depends on what you're good with, right? Because, like, I suck with a controller, but I'm really good with keyboard and mouse. But then there's a lot of people that don't like keyboard and mouse and are really good with controllers. So it depends on what you're good at, really. Uh, Scarecrow's third nipple. Thank you for the uh, super chat once again. Again, interesting name. Interesting name choice, but hey, uh, it is what it is, I guess. Thank you for the super chat, dude. What's your all-time favorite animal to hunt? Nowadays, it's honestly fallow deer. Like, I'm starting to think fallow deer are going to become my favorite, but for the longest time, it's been whitetail. Uh, just because they were really enjoyable. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my God. Can't aim with controller? Yeah, same here, T2. I'm not good with controllers. Zevin, thank you for the super chat. Text to speech donos when? Uh, I mean, I've seen some of the clips of people doing not so good stuff with that, so probably never. Whoa. Where's the rest of the herd? Okay, I don't like shooting uh, any of them when there's only a couple in the zone, even though I know there's more females, and in fact, there should be a few more. It still scares me. I don't want to accidentally delete a zone just because I assumed there was more than just two okay there now i feel more comfortable because there's two more here oh three more beautiful you love to see it 421 kills 1200 kills in without one what do i do and the only thing you can keep doing man is just shooting males there's no way to force it to be faster. Just going to be a matter of continuing to grind until it ends up showing up eventually. Unfortunately, there's not really a way to make great ones spawn quicker as far as we know. Some people suspect that HM could make them spawn a little bit faster, but as of now, we haven't found enough evidence to prove it 100%, so... It's hard to say if there really is a way to make great ones spawn quicker. They seem to be pretty random. 
So as long as you're killing males, you're doing all you can do. I would recommend maybe, like, if you need to, maybe, like, switch something up a little bit. Like, maybe grind slightly different for a couple runs. Uh, if nothing else, it'll at least make it more entertaining. What I used to do when I would get bored grinding is I would start doing different stuff in my grind. Like, maybe I'd try a run where I shot all the deer out of my zones, but I didn't claim them till I shot each and every one out of the zones, and I'd bounce between and claim them all. Uh, I'd have times where I'd, like, maybe shoot a couple does with the bucks. Not as often, though. That's kind of just a fallow thing that I've been doing, but I haven't done it with whitetail or anything. Sometimes I would try, like, not shooting any max weight estimates and only shooting the, uh, like, lower weight estimates that are still within what I'm shooting. Like, I'd shoot the small twos, but not the big twos for whitetail, and then do one big run where I shot every single one of those max weight estimates. You know, just try different stuff. Sometimes it gets the great one to spawn. Uh, other times, you know, at the very minimum, it at least keeps you entertained on your grind and helps prevent uh, boredom. Holy cow, this fallow's huge, 250 to 292. Well, that's a guaranteed diamond right there. Hopefully it's a giant, man. Hopefully it ends up being an absolute monster. How do you do the rolls? So if you're in Discord, just go to the uh, go to the rules channel. If you go to the rules channel, it will have a message at the very bottom of the uh, chat that says exactly how to apply the rolls to your account so that you can see the channels. That is how you do it. Okay, that's the only one we need to shoot. Small feller. When did I get the second great one fallow deer? Uh, we got it two days ago. 395 kills into that grind. Every single one of those kills was in that stream as well. So it made it even more insane. My gosh, we got a bunch over here. Four to shoot. Nice. You love to see it. Oh, we need ammo bad. We need ammo really badly. All right, guys. Brief uh, ammo spamming simulator break. Everybody's favorite uh, mini game in Call of the Wild. How much longer do I think I'll stream for? Um, Probably like two, maybe two and a half hours at the most. I'd say two hours probably. What's my favorite great one? My favorite great one is the great one fallow. Easily. How do I buy ammo so fast? I am spamming the enter key and left click. So I left click to click buy. Then I press enter and it confirms it. So you can just spam it like that to buy the ammo quicker. All right. That should be good enough for now. We got like 1100 rounds. That'll last us like two days. <laughs> That's like two days of ammo when you're on a grind. Even less if you're hunting whitetail. How do you get the 300? So the 300 comes with Yukon Valley DLC. Once you purchase Yukon Valley, you get access to the 300 Magnum for 75,000 in-game currency. How can you use 300 on fallow? Well, you can't use it if you want to get full score, Brennan. But I'm not after full score on something like a, a level 4 or a level 3. So you don't get full score. It's just to kill them quickly so I don't have to track them. Because the less tracking you have to do, the more time you're spending actually killing fallow deer and working towards that great one. But you're not going to get full score for it. Which is why for the great one and the diamonds and... The uh, rares, I use something like the 308 or another gun that covers their class range to make sure I get full score. But for these that are just non-diamonds, they get blasted. 
Whitetail are evil and I know it. I mean, they can be. I, I've seen a few people with really bad luck on Whitetail. Whitetail have been really good to me, though. For me, it's those bears and red deer that are evil. Bears and red deer just don't like me. My first four red deer grinds were 3,000, 3,000, 6,000, and 6,700. My bear grind is 8.1k and I still don't have it. Whitetail and Fallow have been really good to me though. Moose have been kind of in the middle. Moose have been really weird. I've had a few short grinds that were sub 1,000. I had three sub 1,000 grinds for Moose. Then I had a 4,500 kill grind and then a 1,200 kill grind as our most recent Moose grind. So Moose have been kind of back and forth. Fallow have been incredible for me, though. I've been very pleased with how quickly we got our first two. Hoping that number three will pop quickly as well. Caitlin, gonna get ten great one bears before you get one? L very likely, Johnny. That's very likely. Happy birthday, Camden. Happy birthday, man. Couple nice fallow there. Okay, now our fallow are being more consistent. We're seeing them pop up in their zones more reliably and... Come on. Got him. Beautiful. Clicking is tough. What's my favorite great one that I've shot? Uh, it's between the fabled two-tone great one moose and my like 50-50 rack whitetail that had half of the Kinsko rack and half of the typical rack. Those are my two favorite great ones I've ever shot. Uh, Duppy, thank you for the super chat, dude. 450 kills in my grind, 16 diamonds, and four... I'm assuming that means four rares or four trolls? Congrats, dude. That's really good. Sounds like your grind is going incredibly. 323 kills in my fallow grind, and they're coming in so late. Do you know why? Oh, that's just fallow, dear Caden. Mine are late as well. In a lot of cases, I don't get every single buck that's a, that's a shootable one each run. There's always a few that I miss because they're late. Really, it just comes down to trying to figure out what are your most consistent zones. Why don't you like controller? Just not as much uh, control over things as keyboard and mouse, in my opinion. I just feel like I can be much more precise and accurate using keyboard and mouse. And it's what I've grown up with, right? I played on a PC a lot more than I have console. Though I uh, did play a lot of PlayStation 2 and Xbox 360 back in my childhood. Hey, Big Croc, how's it going, dude? What's my favorite map? My favorite map is the brand new one, Australia. It's a beautiful map with a ton of awesome hunting. That guy looks like it could be a diamond four, so we're going to be very careful here. Okay, he's down. I thought I messed him up for a second there. What is my favorite trophy that I've killed that isn't a great one? Ah, uh, let me think. I'd say one of them is that piebald rusa deer we got the other day. Um, another one of my favorites is my melanistic pheasant. That thing is just... I, I can't even begin to say how much I love that thing. It's definitely one of my favorites of all time. Trying to think of what else. And uh, thank you for the super chat. You should try changing the time to 11.50 since it's sunny and it doesn't rain until 12.55, which is a nice natural reminder to change the time. I mean, eh, I'm not too, like, worried about it. I, I reset the time so much during each run that 
I never even make it to 1255, so. Hey, Matt, how's it going? No, we have not got number three yet. Hopefully, we will get it tonight, though. Little feller. Small male over there. Okay, those are old ones. Nothing new there. All right, good to know. Scarecrow's third, thank you for the super chat once again. What's your favorite animal to hunt, not counting animals you've grinded for? Is it still Whitetail? Okay, if we're not counting any animals that I've grinded for, it would have to be... I mean, crocodiles are up there. The crocs are up there for sure. Um, I also really enjoy the ptarmigan hunting. It's uh, underrated in my opinion. And another one is, well, nowadays the, the roosted deer hunting. Uh, that like north coast, or not really a coast, but that north like river, right above it in all those feeding and resting zones, it's a blast to hunt there. Let me think of what else there is. Sometimes it can be hard to remember like every species in the game like off the top of my head. Because I know there's definitely some more that I really enjoy hunting. Trying to think of them. I mean... The kangaroos are pretty fun as well. Trying to think of stuff that's not the new map, because a lot of the new map stuff could just be because it's so new. That may be why I like them so much. I mean, Cape Buffalo have always been a favorite of mine, and Lions. Lions and Cape Buffalo are favorites, for sure. Both of them are really good. Lots of fun to hunt. Very enjoyable. There's 91 species in game. That's crazy. That is so many animals. Nice Kiwi Farmer. That's awesome. I still need to get a rare Banting. I got one in early access, but I couldn't keep it, so... I'd love to get another one. I'm gonna have to do some Banting grinding, I think. Or at least, like, uh, some casual multiplayer hunting for them. Scarecrow's third. Thank you for the super chat again, man. I'm going to ask another. What are a few animals you dislike hunting for? Um, Lynx. Lynx is one of them. Not a fan of hunting lynx. Um, I don't like hunting for black bear. I definitely don't. What else? What's another one that I dislike quite a bit? It used to be fox, but they're pretty insane on Australia, so that's kind of not a thing anymore. I don't hate them as much as I used to. Or I should say, I don't hate hunting them as much as I used to. Yeah, those are the two most notable ones. Black Bear and Lynx. Not a fan of them. They're kind of annoying to me. Whoa! You're darting out of the way so fast, bro. Oh, he stopped! What? What was that? Okay, we're clearly not getting him. I, it was just not meant to be. We were just not meant to get him. That's pretty nuts. He dodged a bullet, literally. <laughs> he literally dodged a bullet. Crazy. Like, he stopped so perfectly. Like, he could not have timed it any better. <laughs> That was crazy. Getting finessed by the deer. I know, right? Like, what's up with that, eh? Crazy, dude. Those couldn't move in time. They're both down. Am I using the 300? I am indeed. I use the 300 on Fallow to kill them quicker, so I have to track them less if I make a bad shot. Uh, anything that's a diamond, though, I do shoot with the proper rifle. Do you think the 7mm is good for elk? Oh, definitely. It's not bad. I would choose the 300 over the 7mm for elk, but it's still good for them. Did he dodge the bullet, or did the bullet dodge him? 
You know, these are the questions we need to ask ourselves every day fishing and farming TV. That is a question that we don't ask ourselves nearly enough. Did the deer dodge the bullet or am I just a bad shot, you know? And a lot of times it's both. Australia is my new favorite map and one of the main reasons is because of the croc hunting. The croc hunting is really good, Jaden. I do like it a lot. Some of the most fun I've had in this game as of recent, I'd say, is just running around with crocodiles and trying to not die. Another two bite the dust. Hey, Piggy Wowness, how's it going? You missed about, what, six diamonds? Five or six diamonds? I think it was five. Five diamonds on the day out of 106 kills, so I'd say we're doing pretty good. We are definitely having a good day so far. Getting our diamonds to pop up better than yesterday. Yesterday was brutal. I don't know what was up with that. How long have you been grinding for all species and how many hours have you spent great one grinding? Gosh, uh, I haven't kept track of the exact amount of hours that I've spent grinding. All I know is I currently have 5,700 hours on the game of all time. And I would say at least 3,000 of those hours are grinding. They gotta be. Because that's what I do a lot of. So it's gotta be at least that much. Hey, nothing else popped up there. <sighs> this lake's been really weird recently. Now, usually, if we don't have a lot over where we just shot this deer and in this area, that usually means there's either a bunch over on that side of the lake or there is a bunch in the other herds we hunt. I mean, and I guess the other thing is they could just be late. It's actually kind of looking like they're just late to their zones. Why do I have one moose per drink zone? A lot of moose drink zones are like that, Jason Reed. That's just moose hunting in the game. Lots of solo zones. Um, there's probably like... You're going to find at least 60 or 70 solo zones, I would say. And then you'll also find some zones that have like five of them. But uh, there is a lot of solos, like an absurd amount. You're going down too, ma'am. Sorry, but you were uh, happened to be in the way, so uh, that's that. It is what it is. I'm going to go back here and see if we've got any in that, uh, what's it called? That little zone that always gets a solo. We get a zone right here sometimes with a solo. Not this time, though. What size backpack do I use? I don't use any backpacks at all because the backpacks increase the spook range for running by like 30 meters. And to me, it's not worth the extra capacity to be spooking stuff all the time. So I just completely avoid using them. I definitely can't carry as much as if I did use a backpack, but I'm okay with sacrificing that just to make sure that I'm quieter when I'm running. Hey, Cheetah, how's it going, man? How you doing, Cheetah? Popping up in here with that beautiful rainbow badge. Do I shoot the max weight estimate solos? Yes, I do. Because you want to get all those max weights out of those solo zones. Because they're going to be super annoying to deal with if they're if most of your max weights are solos. You want to try and make it so all your max weights are like your main like zones. So I try to shoot down the solos to twos and small threes as much as I can. To 20. Does 
Does not getting full score affect the amount of cash per animal? Yes, it does. Not getting full score will cut the amount of cash you get by a good bit. I think it removes like probably two or three hundred from fallow deer. So instead of getting over a thousand, you get about eight hundred. Oh, nice. Cheetah sounds like a fun time, man. That's a big boy four. Not as much of a big boy as I was hoping, but still a big boy. Uh, yeah, Eli, if you want to hunt all your herds, then go for it. There's no, like, wrong way to hunt, right? There's just, like, preferences for each person that plays. There's no, like, right or wrong way to do it. Especially if you're not doing herd management. If you're not herd managing, then you can just shoot whatever you want. Shoot whatever you want. Only thing I'd worry about is just try not to delete your zones. But, uh, that's like... That's pretty much with whatever you're doing. What was my first great one? My first ever great one was a white-tailed deer off of Rancho Del Arroyo. It was about a week after the release of that map. And that was back before I really knew much about grinding. And so I wasn't very fast at grinding stuff. So it ended up taking me a full week of doing grinding streams just to get 500 kills and get that great one to spawn. It was some crazy times back then. That was when like we barely knew anything about great ones. We didn't really know much about, like, how to get the perfect grind set up. It was some crazy times back then. When am I going to post about the new great one on YouTube Shorts? Um, our next great one probably won't be in a short. It'll probably be in a full video. Because of the fact that it is a pretty awesome combination, I want to give it a full video. Uh, you probably got gifted one top shelf. Don't think you collected the level 4 potential diamond. Uh, I might have missed it. It happens sometimes, man. Sometimes when I'm speeding through the zones, I do miss a couple. Is a Mocha Bantang rare? No, it's not. I believe that's a common, if I'm not mistaken. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. It was an interesting time back then. For sure. Like, we knew nothing about grinding. Alright, we got a couple to bop there. Uh-oh, hit the wrong one. Back out. Don't let the two die. I have 28 zones. Can I start grinding? You can start grinding at any time, Corn. I always start shooting deer the second I find my first zone. Uh, yeah, Cheetah, there's gifted memberships now. They added gifted memberships uh, not too long ago, I think. Whoa. What the? We have three there now. And we also have two shootables there. We had three in that one zone. That's crazy. Should I shoot my solo zones with level 2s in them? I would leave all solo level 2s. That's kind of like best case scenario. You want the level... You want the solos to be level 2s. Because then you don't have to worry about chasing after them. Just got 4 diamonds and 4 runs. Nice, Ty. That's crazy. Sounds like you're getting some pretty insane luck there. Love to see it, dude. Love to see it.
Man. It feels weird only shooting three deer here. How do you have Silas recoil on the 300? Uh, two things. I have recoil management level three in the uh, shotgun perk category. It applies to all weapons. And I also pull my mouse down every time I shoot. Like, think of it like this. I shoot and I jerk the mouse down to compensate for the recoil. So it's a combination of those two things. My fellow deer on my zones are gone on all my maps. What do I do? Um, I, I don't know, dude. Like, that's not really much information to go off of. Like, how are you searching for them? Because I doubt they'd just be gone, man. Yeah, Smash, we got 40 great ones in total. We have been slaying the great one whitetail. We've got 27 great one whitetail as of now. Am I shooting the fives as soon as I see them? We are now, yes. For a while we were stacking them, but we're past that point now. So we're shooting all of them. Although we're on a bad streak, I might need to uh, shoot down some more of the map. What do I consider a small level 3 fallow deer? Anything that is probably going to score in the 130s. So if it looks the same as a 2, then it's a small one. Man, our deer are acting really weird. Is there a whole lodge just for great ones? Yes, I have a lodge that I just have great ones and super rares in. And then I have the rest of the plaques filled with just random stuff. Oh, great one! <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh, there he is! Oh my gosh, we got him! 460 kills, let's go! Great one number three! Look at that! Yo! What a weird zone to get him in too, man. Oh my gosh. Number three already. It's another fabled hooded. Holy. It's another fabled hooded. With the, with the, the paddle club spoon Mickey rack. Oh my gosh. Let's go, guys. 460 kills. Holy. This is like, this is insane how consistent we've been getting these in 460. Or like around 400. Holy, our th oh my gosh. Our three great one fallow deer have been 428, 395, and 460 kills. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, for a second I didn't realize it was a great one until I saw the no tines and the fur. I was like, whoa. My first thought when I looked at him was, oh, that's a uh, that's a white diamond. Nope, that's a, that's a fabled. <laughs> this is insane. Oh my gosh. Oh, what the? Random four? Holy man. Oh my gosh. Wow, man. Holy, let me catch up on Super Chats and notify the Discord as well. I think I missed at least two Super Chats. Uh, actually, I missed one. Jaren, thank you for the Super Chat. Dude, what are you shooting with it with if you don't know? Do a shotgun? I, I don't know what I'm going to shoot it with, man. Oh gosh, I can't speak. Thank you for the Super Chat though. Connor, thank you for the Super Chat as well. Did Bree hear you again? Probably. I'm sure she did. Holy, I gotta let the Discord know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, it's, oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh.
That's insane. That is insane. Holy! Dude. There she is. There's Mrs. Crow. Oh my gosh. Great one. Fallow Deer number three. I think that is Fabled Hooded again, right? It looks so different in the light compared to our other one. Fabled Hooded with the No Tines rack again. That's our second No Tines. When am I going to get the blade rack, man? When am I going to get the blade rack? Holy. Hold on. I got to save the replay so I don't have to go back and uh, pull the footage from the stream. Oh my gosh. What are we going to kill it with? Um, oh my gosh. What are we going to do? What should we kill it with? I'm thinking we do a handgun. I'm thinking we do a handgun. Um. Uh, oh, what do we do though? What handgun, guys? What handgun? What handgun do we use? What handgun? I really want to use a handgun on it. Okay, seeing a lot of 243, a lot of 45, a lot of Glock. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um. Okay, I think, yeah, I see mainly Glock. Yeah, Glock. It looks like it's Glock. You guys want to see the Glock, so we're going to do the Glock. Holy, bro. This is insane. Like, this is absolutely absurd at this point. Let's get the Devani sight. Holy. I just can't believe how quick these things spawn. I, I just can't believe it. it. They're just like moose in kill count, but they're so much easier to kill. And you can kill so many of them so fast that you, it just seems like they happen every single day. This is insane. Oh my gosh. Holy. I know, right, Nathan? Let's get that Glock going. No sight? I mean, we could go sightless. Holy, man. As soon as I join in, a great one shows up. Yeah, dude, we got a great one to show. 460 kills. Did you use HM? Yes, but HM doesn't get you great ones, so. At least as of now, there's no proof that it does. These, uh, these fallows seem to be identical to the moose in kill counts. They pop up a lot, like a very much the same as moose. What is HM? HM stands for herd management. Let's get close to this guy. It's 13, so we're going to have to reset the time. There he is. He appeared over there that time. Let's go get him. This is rigged. I don't even have one. Hey, man. We're already over 1,100 kills in this grind. Or not this grind, but in total. These things are popping fast. The amount of people that are getting their great ones sub 500 is kind of ridiculous. There's so many people that are getting them sub 500 right now. But we're bound to have a bad grind eventually. We're bound to have a bad grind eventually. Think of it this way. This is the game making up for our 8,000 kill bear grind that we still don't have a great one on. We still don't have a great one bear after 8.1 thousand kills. We were due to get some crazy luck. Zach, thank you for the super chat. Hold on, I missed a couple super chats. Let's sneak up and uh, reply to them real quick. Thank you so much, Zach. Really appreciate it. The OG music kicking in right as you go shoot him is so poetic. Dude, it is. It really is. 
And uh, Pike, it, the super chat's far gone now, so I don't know what you said, but thank you for the super chat, Pike. Thank you so much, dude. Now you won't get a bear at all? I probably won't, man. I'm going to be honest. That bear has just broken me. It has absolutely defeated me. I hope this is just how they are. Oh, it definitely is, Daniel. Um, the thing about these is they're very similar to Moose. Moose pop sub 500 more than any other great one. Fallow seem to do the same thing, but the difference is Fallow deer are really easy to get lots of kills per hour on, so people are getting them so quickly. I was scrolling through my Discord today, and there was probably over 25 great ones posted for Fallow deer in just the last three days. And most of them were sub 1,000 kills. A lot of them were sub 300 even. I've been kind of blown away at how many people have been getting them this quickly. This is easily the quickest great one to get on average. Now keep in mind, not everybody's grind is going to be the same. Some people are going to get unlucky grinds. But this is definitely the species that has gave people the most sub 500 kill grinds. Go to Lodge after? Oh, we definitely will. We're going to put that huddle together. We're 100% putting that huddle together as soon as we can. Oh, I can't believe we have our third. I can't believe we have our third. This is our longest grind so far, though. 460 kills, but that's still not a long grind. I am very thankful that we've got them pretty quickly. It makes up for all the trolls I've got in Australia and the terrible bear grind. Try using feed zones instead of drink zones with the bear grind. I mean, maybe it'll make it more interesting. The thing is, like... With the bear grind, my biggest problem with the bear grind is I get bored with the bears fast if I'm hunting all the zones because they're so slow to get there. And so it's like 20 minutes every time reset of just not shooting anything. And I just feel like that's a boring stream to watch, right? And so I, I'd rather just continue grinding the two drink zones that I grind for bears whenever we go back to the bears, that is. Holy man. <laughs> yeah, Jack. <laughs> you know, at this point, I wouldn't blame people that are, you know, somewhat either somewhat new to the game or somewhat new to the channel that come in here and they're like, oh, this dude's got three great ones in like a thousand kills. Like he must be cheating, right? I wouldn't blame people because if you don't know the channel, if you don't know how much effort I put into grinding and how often I stream grinds, then that could be very much something that you would think. So I don't even, like, I don't even hate on people that think that because it's totally, like, it's a reasonable thing to think if you are not familiar with the channel and you don't watch a lot of the grinding streams. At the end of the day, it's just not everybody's going to believe you, right? I mean, look at some of the best, like, streamers in games like Counter-Strike and... Uh, Tarkov and Call of Duty, like, you know, people like Shroud, they get accused of cheating all the time. When in reality, they're just insane at the game. The only difference with Call of the Wild is there's a lot of luck that plays into it as well. Call of the Wild has got a lot of luck-based stuff. Holy. Turn up the Great One music? Oh, you're right. Let's do it. Let's turn the Great One music on. Let's uh, pause the stream music and turn the in-game music on. We're going to take this down. Uh, there we go. Oh, not 100. Let's do 50. 50 might still be too loud. Okay, Hunter. Lay down, bro. I'm not going to let you screw this up for me. Don't get in front of me as I shoot. I don't know if we're going to get closer than 50. The last fallow deer started getting attentive at uh, about 40 meters, I think. So we don't have much further that we can go. I need to change the dot size real quickly, though. That is... Oh, no, it's it's already small. No, that's for HUD. Um, Where is it? Reflex sight size small. Let's see. Put your head up again. I know the Glock's got really good penetration, so we should be fine. He's going down! Let's go, guys! Great one, Fallow! Number three on the board. Oh my gosh. And down he goes. Down he goes. 
Don't kill me. Don't- No, don't you dare. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Hey, Clazer, how's it going, man? Yeah, you joined at the right time. Number three just went down. It's another Fabled Hooded with the same rack we got on our golden. Gosh, man, like, out of the three that we've got, I've only got two racks and two furs. <laughs> oh my gosh, we'll get them all eventually, but... For now, like, I don't really care which ones we get. As long as we're getting combinations we haven't seen before, I'm happy with it. And that is a Fabled Hooded. Oh my gosh. Wait. No Great One music. What? I feel ripped off. I turned on the Great One music so we could hear it, and it didn't even work. Are you kidding me? Wow, that just... Come on, EW. Where's my Great One music? Ah, <laughs> uh, I guess I don't have it activated for Fallow Deer. This was a problem with Moose for a while, I think. Man. That is... That's wild. It's unfortunate the music didn't play. The music's bugged for Fallow. Ah, oh, that sucks, Rated. Man. I wanted to hear the music for it. You know, I guess on the bright side, I'll be able to put my own music over it in the video. So it is what it is. Ah, oh, my gosh. I don't really care about the music, though, at the end of the day. We got another great one. We got another freaking great one, Fallow. These are definitely shaping up to be the easiest great one. Or at least the one that gives you the most short grinds. I, I guess I don't want to say easy because that makes it sound like it's just easy to get a great one. But in reality, I think this is just the one that gives you the most chance of a short grind. Nobody knows why, but they definitely seem to be very similar to Moose. I wonder why some great ones are really tough to get. Like you look at the Red Deer and you look at the Black Bear and on average they have much higher kill counts. And then we look at stuff like the Whitetail, they're kind of in the middle. And then we've got the Fallow Deer and the Moose that are on average lower than all the others. It's definitely interesting and I'm curious why that is. But honestly, we may never know. Holy man, that's so cool. Okay, what do you guys think is the best combo we've got so far? Connor, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. 1K watching? I know, I'm kind of blown away at that. We've never, uh... We have not broke 1,000 during this update at any time. Hey, Ashley Hunts, how's it going? Front times look kind of uneven, are they? Oh, maybe. Let me look. No, it looks like it's perfectly even. Yeah, it's perfectly even as are most True Rax animals. Wait, you got a great one, Johnny? No way! The timing! <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I just got my third great one in Johnny. My brother just got his great one. A saw rack. <laughs> oh my gosh. The timing, dude. That's awesome. You better send me some pictures of that. That's incredible timing. Wow. Holy crap, man. That's nuts. That is nuts. Johnny, what fur type is yours? What fur type did you get? Hunter11, thank you for the super chat, dude. Got a 270.72 diamond. That is huge, man. I have only had one uh, 270 plus. That's that's pretty wild, dude. That's a giant. It's either golden or mocha. Oh my gosh, you're so lucky, dude. I want the blade rack so bad. <laughs> and your first is a blade rack with possibly my favorite fur type because mocha is my favorite. I swear to God, if you get a blade rack mocha... As your very first, I'm going to be a little upset. No, nah, I'm just kidding. I won't be upset. I am uh, already... <laughs> I'm already getting way more than I ever would have expected. I can't really... I have no room to complain about not getting the combo I want. Because I've got absurdly lucky. That's our heaviest one, too, I just realized. 131. And it's not even close to max weight. 140 is max weight for a great one fallow. That's not even... Close to max weight. Jeez, dude. What a day. What a freaking day. What a day. Let's go in the lodge. 
Let's head to the Great One in Super Rare Lodge and put this guy into the huddle. Gosh. Oh, I just remembered. I might have spoilers in my, uh, in my trophy manager for the next few videos. I'm trying to remember if I place the trophies down. I think I placed them in the main lodge already, so I think we should be spoiler free, thankfully. Gotta update the counter? Yes, we do. Let's get another great one on there. Great one number 41. Man. I gotta say, Valor the quickest we've been able to add new great ones to the counter. Fabled huddle. We do have the fabled huddle. We do. I forgot a super chat. Oh no, let me scroll up. Um. No, no, I got both of them. I read both of those super chats. We're good. We're good to go. Okay, let's go ahead and tear that huddle down. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Fall Fallow Huddle 7. There we go. And now we go into the multi mounts and we do Huddle Fallow. And we scroll down. Fabled. 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 There we go. How is this going to look? And are they going to clip into each other? Oh, oh no. I had a feeling. Uh, is that going to look? Uh... Yeah, that, that, that's okay. Okay. That's actually okay. That's actually okay. I'll take it. That, that actually doesn't clip too bad. Can I give you a tour of the lodge? Yeah, we could do a Great One Lodge tour. I mean, it's a lot of whitetail. As you guys probably know, we grind a lot of them. We can do a brief little, uh, brief little tour of the lodge. Most of these are already in the lodge tour on the channel. Uh, so we'll skip over all the ones that are already on the channel, because if you guys want to see them, you can go check out the, uh, you can go check out the video of our Great One Lodge. Most of these Whitetail are in it. Except for, of course, like, this guy right here, because he's pretty new. And then, I don't think our Two-Tone Moose is there. So we have that guy. And then... I don't think this guy's in the Lodge Tour video either. All of our Red Deer are... That's pretty much all of them, though. And, you know, my lodge still looks barren because there's no bear. Get it? Barren. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> it's golden. Nice, Johnny. That's a solid combo. Golden blade rack is solid, man. That is insane. I missed your super chat. I did, Ryder? Um, I'm going to have to open up YouTube real quick and figure out... Let me see. Let me find it. Ah, uh, Ryder, thank you for the super chat. Would you like to see a 450 Legend and Doves? I, uh, yeah, I mean, 450 Legend for sure. Doves would also be really awesome. So, yeah, I, I'd say I would. I'd say I definitely would. Bro, is definitely a dad. You're not wrong, Scott. I definitely am. <laughs> that's the most accurate thing that's been said ever. Ever, I tell you. Now it's time to, uh... Send uh, that little picture to I buy. <laughs> For your fourth, it's going to be a Blade Rack Mocha. Could you imagine, Joshua? I hope so, man. Let's see the Piebald Rusa. I would, but if I go into my main lodge, there's lots of spoilers. So That is pretty wild. What do we do now, guys? Like, Do we keep grinding fallow or do we hunt on Australia? What do we end up doing? Maybe I should do a poll. Let's do a poll. Let's do a poll. 
Wow, so a lot of you were saying bears too, really? Okay, I, I guess we'll put bears in there as well if you guys really want to see it. Though I don't think bears would win because it's not a new thing. <laughs> Maybe I was wrong. Oh gosh, please tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> well, what I get for putting it on there. <laughs> Show the bear who's boss. I mean, yeah, we might have to. We might have to, man. Gosh, I still just can't believe we got another fallow deer. Well, let me end the recording. And uh, before we get into anything else, I got to send I by that image, man. Got to send I by that pick. Show him that we got number three. Alrighty, let's jump into Silver Ridge Peaks, I guess. You guys want to see bears? I know, Johnny, that's insane. I can't believe you got yours, like, right as I got mine. Okay, time to change the thumbnail. Oh, I forgot I have the music on. We're getting outpost music now. Uh, this, oh gosh, it's overlapping. Oh my gosh. Okay, better. <laughs> that was wild. There, I just included in the title, Bears After. Hey, Caitlin, how's it going? How you doing? We got fallow number three already. Can you believe that? And everybody voted for bears, so we're hunting bears now. I don't know why you guys want to torture me, but you know what? Uh, I'll take it, I guess. You guys want to see bears? We'll hunt bears. I have no clue how this is going to go, though. I don't have any hope for bears. Just so you know, I have no hope for bears at all. Fallow deer are nice to us. These bears hate my guts. So prepare for this to be a very lackluster uh, grind. Let's get... Well, let's do that. Let's do that. And then for... Yeah, that's pretty clean. All right, here we go. The bear grind continues. 8,164 kills on the bear grind. Let's see how it goes. You will get it, I have a feeling. I don't think I will. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this is the only the only great one where I really don't have any hope. You're gonna get it? Maybe, man. I don't know. Maybe. Well, we'll see. Let's see how long I last. <laughs> Barely started. Yeah, we barely started with bear hunting. Sheesh, man. Level five. Level four. Two bears down. Stop bear grinding and just spawn. That's what I'm saying, man. 
Make it spawn! Okay, maybe you guys are right. Maybe I need to change my... Change my tone with the bears, right? Maybe I need to change my tone. What, what, what should I do? Should I just, uh... As they say it, make it till you make it. We're gonna get that great one. I believe uh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be our moment. We're gonna turn this grind around. I believe. All right, everybody. For the members that have access to the emotes, let's get the 10 fableds in chat. We need all the luck we can possibly get. I don't think you'll get it. I just want to torture you. <laughs> wow, Nutria. Wow. That's crazy. That's just... Wow, so rude. So rude, man. No bears there. There we go. There's all the ten fables. I believe... We will make this bear ours. We will get this bear. Though that kind of would, would require them to show up at their zone, so that's a problem. What are your great one fallow fur types? So far we have a uh, fabled golden and two fabled hooded. Unfortunately, unfortunately we did get a duplicate fur. On the one we got today and a duplicate rack, but I don't care because it, it's still a combo we didn't have And it's a freaking great one regardless like I'm just happy that we've been doing good with fallow I was so worried I'd be in for a bear type of grind, but I'm so happy that they're not like that Holy love to see all the emotes y'all are killing it how many diamonds so far in the grind for bear? I think like 130. Let me look. Uh, for bears, we're at 133 diamonds over the course of 8,167 kills with 21 rares, uh, zero super rares, zero troll rares, and no great ones. So that's our bear stats. For anybody that is not aware. As I know there's probably quite a few of you that are not aware with how bad of luck we've had with bears in the past. Bears and red deer have been my long grinds. Kill the great one tonight. Maybe, Dantif, maybe. I hope, man. If we get... Okay, if we end up getting a bear tonight. I'm not even going to, like, believe it myself. Because we just got a great one fallow. There's no way we get the bear tonight, right? And if we do, I am i don't know how I'll react. Okay, three down. Just bear with this grinding, you'll get him eventually. Yeah, Daniel, I know, man. We'll get him eventually. Uh, Tim, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh gosh, I gotta scroll up and find it. I uh, just got a 214.51 level 4 Melafalo. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Congrats. That is awesome. My gosh. They pay extra for the bears. Oh yeah, the bears, uh, they definitely pay a good amount of money. The great one's probably sitting at some undiscovered drink zone. That would be my... That'd be my luck, man. I've combed this map so thoroughly and made sure that I wasn't, like, missing any zones before I started grinding just two lakes. And that would be my luck to where somehow there was a zone I missed. That would be my freaking luck, man. That 30 hours of searching the rest of the map didn't find all the zones. That would be my luck. <laughs> What's the best map for Moose? The best map for Moose is probably Medved or Revontuli. They're both really good. Where's the great one I didn't see? We ended up killing the uh, fabled hooded spoon rack uh, great one about 30 to 45 minutes ago, I think. If I were to take a wild guess at time frame. 
Zone out in the middle of the forest. Gosh, I'll be so upset if there's like a hidden zone. Like a, a zone that's not even near water. Gosh, that would annoy me so much if that's the case. Best map for Whitetail. Revon, Tuli, and Leighton are both really good. It's more a personal preference which one you choose between them. Had a piebald whitetail respawn as a bigger piebald whitetail. That's really lucky, man. Uh, the odds of that happening are really, really low. Like, extremely low. There we go. We got a four there. Oh, something else. Beautiful. Got a piebald red fox? Nice, kid. Cool. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome, man. Can I tell you something? I mean, yeah, if you want to. You can definitely tell me something. Yes, I'm only hunting two lakes. They're the only two lakes that are consistent and get bears quickly, so I've just been focusing on only them. Because the rest of the map, the bears take over two hours of in-game time just to get to their zones. And to me, that, that was just a big waste of time to wait for them. So I've just been focusing these two zones. There's only like five bears between them, but... I have a lot more fun grinding them this way than I would searching the rest of the map. Nothing else there. All right. Got a diamond fallow. Nice, Zach. That's awesome, dude. Got two diamond banting and one diamond crocodile. Nice, Riker. Nice. Y'all are killing it with, like, the diamonds and rares off of Emerald Coast. I've been having terrible luck with Emerald Coast diamonds. Like, I've had so many trolls for them. All right, let's head over here. Get an albino bear and call it a polar bear. Could you imagine if there was albino bears in the game? Could you imagine, man? I'm kind of sad that they aren't a thing. Did you get the Great One Fallow? We did, Landon. We did. Thank you for the super chat, dude. We did get another Great One Fallow. There is albino bears. Not in the game, though. Not for black bear. Not for black bear. Uh, there is for brown bear and grizzly bear, but not the black bear, sadly. When did I get the great one? Like, probably 30 minutes ago, I'd say. 30 or 40 minutes ago. Nice, Cooper, nice. How does the hunting pressure not affect the zones? Uh, because with bears, they don't really have a very large, like, area they can respawn in from what I've seen. So, because of the fact that I've got all these surrounding zones filled up with males and females, like, we got low-level males and we got females over in these lakes and this lake and all the other surrounding lakes, so the respawns only have a couple places they can go, and it's these two lakes. So they just keep bouncing between them, no matter what I do hunting pressure-wise. This is what we've been doing for thousands of kills on the bears. Black Bear could do with a remodel. They actually got one already, Ty, like, uh, with the Mississippi release. Bear, Black Bear already had their rework. So I don't think we'd get another one. 
Wouldn't hurt, though. How many great one fallows do you have? Currently three, man. We've got three of them as of now. I mean, I don't think it's... If it has, Owen, it would have been before I started grinding two zones. Because ever since we started grinding just two zones, I've never lost any of the five respawns here. I still have five respawns just like I did like thousands of kills ago. So it wouldn't have been possible for one of those five to spawn in a different zone. However, I guess it's possible that I could have missed one before going to just two zones. But it's unlikely because I scour the map pretty thoroughly before. I made sure that I was doing my best not to miss anything. How many great one black bear do you have? Currently, zero. <laughs> Absolutely zero. We're on an 8,176 kill grind. Gavin, yeah, thank you for the super chat, man. Got the great one bear, 700 some kills and one dime. Jeez, dude. I wish I had your luck with bears. I wish I had your bear luck, but at the same time, I guess I can't complain. I've had the white tail and fallow deer luck, so. I've had the luck, just not with bears. Whoa, wait a second. What's up with the bears animation? Did you guys catch that? They're moving like slow. That's a new bug. Did you see that? Like their uh, their flinching animation is slowed. Dude, the amount of like weird stuff that happens with updates sometimes that's not even related to stuff they've changed is crazy. It makes me wonder how that happens. Because not only do they have the stand-up glitch, but now they got this weird like flinch glitch. That's so strange, man. That's so weird. Meanwhile, no great one, but another pink pig. Nice, creative. Nice. How many kills for the great one, Fallow? The last one was 460, I believe. I believe it was like 460. What device do I play on? I play on PC. Just turned light outside. I've been awake for 20 hours. Oh my gosh, Ty. You should get some sleep, dude. That's rough. 20 hours awake. Ouch. How many great one gators do I have? There is no great one gators, so... None. Nice, Jax. That's awesome, man. That is awesome, dude. There we go. A level six. We need to change the time. He doesn't sleep until Crow gets the Great One Bear. Oh, oh no. He, he die then. There, there's no way that he... There's no way you could stay up until Crow gets a Great One Bear. No way anybody could do that. If somebody did a stay up till Crow gets a great one bear challenge, they'd be up for hundreds of hours. Got a Melaroo yesterday. Nice, Oregon Wiffle Ball. That's awesome, dude. Yeah, we did, Kyle. We did get a third great one fallow. 460 kills into the grind on that one. Am I just grinding these two lakes? Yes, just grinding the two lakes for bears. In that case, I haven't slept in days. I know, right? When did I kill the third and second great one fellow? I killed the third today and the second was two days ago.
Look at your other zones just as a final check. I probably will at some point. I don't necessarily want to look at all my other zones on stream though, because it's going to be like 30 to 40 minutes of not shooting anything, which is kind of boring. I'll probably check it some other time. Because it's just tedious and annoying to check the other zones. How many Great One Bunnies do I have? I I wish there was a Great One Bunny to go for. Give us all the Great Ones. Give us a Great One for every species. You can cruise in the four-wheeler and check for tracks. True. True. Actually, I've done that before. I have gone to all the zones via ATV just to make it quicker. What I would do is I would I'd change the time, right? I'd go downstairs and like make my lunch or something. And then I would come back and you know about an hour would have passed in game. And so by then a lot of the animals would have probably got to their zones or at least had a chance to get the majority of them there. And so what I would do then is just drive to every single lake and look for tracks. Anytime I would find a drink zone, I would stop and check it to see if it was bears. I used to find like a few of my males that way, but it never worked like as good as I had hoped. It did never work quite as good as I had hoped. There's the other one. Try going for golds and over only. The thing is, I'd run out of respawns so fast with that. Because bears, like, so commonly give me fives and fours. I don't think I'd be able to only shoot golds. How do you claim so fast? I've got a keybind on my mouse. Like, my mouse has, like, a, a few different mouse buttons. I just bound enter to my mouse button so I can just click enter to skip through the trophy quickly. Orlando, thank you for the super chat, dude. What's up? Had a five was a troll. Did you get the third great one? Yes, we got the third great one. We did. Sorry about your troll, dude. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate, man. But yeah, we got another great one fallow. Uh, fabled hooded with the uh, spoon rack. That's a mythical. Okay. Something semi-good. Something decent, finally. I am so sorry to those two bears. They dropped on the spot. Must have been hard shots. We're now at 8,185 kills. Oh, my lord. That is... Whew. That is something else, man. That is something else. It's coming, I can feel it. I hope so, Mixie. I hope so. I think with the bear grind, the way that I'm gonna keep myself interested is just to take it casually. I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna push myself too hard with it. I'm gonna try and just like chat with you guys more during the bear grind. Not try to be like the fastest as fast can be. Because otherwise, I, I will just get tired of it eventually. And I don't want to get bored of the bear grind this time around. No, I've never got a great one bear, Joshua. I am at over 8,000 kills with no bear. Orlando, thank you for the super chat again, dude. You're crazy, bro. I really want the flat rack great one. Keep on grinding, man. You'll get, you'll get one eventually. That's the thing. As long as you're grinding, it'll happen eventually. It'll happen eventually, man. And I hope you do get that rack the second that yours spawns. I hope you do, man. Can you do a feral pig grind? Um, I've actually already done one before. We did our feral pig grind uh, probably like five, six, seven months ago, somewhere in that range, uh, to try and get our diamond. And once we got the diamond, we stopped the grind. I might try to go for an albino at some point, though. And with Australia being out, maybe I can do some, like, multiplayer hopping on Australia trying to find uh, rare feral pigs. That might be fun. Who 
Oh, you're so good. I don't uh, get how your luck is insane with other great ones, but not the black bear. The thing is, my luck isn't good with red deer either. I have good luck with whitetail. I have good luck with fallow. I have average luck with moose. But I have garbage luck with red deer and black bear. Uh, my black bear grind is 8,100 kills with no great one. My red deer grinds were 3,000, 3,000, 6,000, 6,700. And then I had two decent red deer grinds that were like 890 or something, and then 180. So I only had two of my six red deer grinds be like actually decently fast. The rest of them were really long. So bears aren't the only thing I've had bad luck with. But they're definitely, they've definitely been the worst offender. That's for sure. They have been the worst offender by far. Uh, for those asking for a collab with Kendall Gray, uh, it's it's one of those things where it's not as easy as that, man. Like I, I've emailed him before, but it's very easy to like get lost in the amount of other emails he probably gets. That I've already tried to contact him. It's uh, up to whether or not he sees it, right? And I sent that email a couple months ago, so it's probably so far down in the email list that chances of him seeing it are pretty low. Uh, I might shoot him another email soon, or maybe try to contact him via a different method, but yeah, I've already tried before. Orlando, thank you for the super chat again, dude. Wow, thanks, Ropus. I see you're back with your old friend, the Black Bear Grind, the animal who really doesn't want to give you the great one. I know, right? We'll get it eventually. We will get it eventually, I'm sure. Just taking longer than what we're used to with white tail and fallow deer. We'll get him eventually though, man. Thank you for the super chat once again. Am I tripping or did Pike send another? Or is that one just stuck at the top? Okay, I think that one from Pike is just stuck at the top. I don't know if it shows up for everybody else, but at the top of the chat it shows Pike's donation from like an hour ago. And it still hasn't gone away. There we go. Alright everybody, I'm going to do another poll now that we already know that you guys want to see me do the bear grind. I'm going to do another poll. Because I've already kind of got my opinion on this, right? But I'm curious what your guys' opinion is. The question is, do you guys think herd management affects great ones? There's three different answers. Yes, no, and not enough data to be sure. I kind of fall into the last category. I don't think there's enough data to be sure, but also it's not impossible that it does. But from my grinds, they've been all over the place using it and all over the place not using it. So I can't say for sure. But I am curious what you guys think. Because the thing about me is I've gone back and forth with my opinion on it multiple times. When I started grinding with herd management on the red deer, I was convinced it did not increase them at all because our grinds were so long every single time. Then we started doing the whitetail grind and I started thinking, okay, I, I guess it does affect them because we were getting a lot of great ones really quickly. And then I started doing grinds with out herd management and my whitetail kill counts were the same amount and so then I started thinking okay maybe it doesn't affect it and that's kind of the opinion I've held since because I had a very long moose grind that was a couple thousand kills of it being herd management then I had a really short moose grind without it and then I had some more long herd management whitetail grinds in fact a lot of long ones one of my longest ever was when we started doing HM again so I've been all over the place with my opinion on it Before this update, my opinion was still, I don't think it affects it, but it's not impossible. 
with the with what we've seen with Fallow Deer, though, I'm thinking right now. My opinion is I still don't know for sure, but I'm thinking more and more that maybe it does. But at the same time, I've seen a bunch of people getting sub 500 Fallow Deer without herd management as well. So like, I don't know. I'm still in the very like I don't know stage of it. It's crazy. It's just crazy how much my opinions changed on it throughout the year that we've used it. It's just been so weird how it's been so inconsistent and it's just made it so I can't say for sure that it does. I just can't say for sure. But at the same time, I can totally see why somebody would say that it does. Two more bears down. Let's see what the poll says. Okay, so right now, 35% of you guys say that it does affect great ones. 30% say it doesn't. 34% say not enough data to be sure. I'd say that's a pretty good representation of the community on HM. Is It is very split on opinions as to whether it works or not. I mean, there's no doubt that it works on diamonds. And no doubt that because they... You get more diamonds, you're going to get more chances at super rares. But with great ones, it's still, like, unknown. And, like, unagreed on, I guess. I guess that's the best way to put it. It's unagreed on. Jaxie said it hurts it when I was in one of his streams. I don't think I've ever heard Jaxie say that it hurts it. I've heard him say that stacking will hurt your grind. I've heard him say multiple times, do not stack. And I guess stacking is a part of herd management, so... I don't know. Maybe it's a weird situation where everybody's been wrong. Maybe we've all been wrong on herd management. Maybe herd management doesn't affect them and actually hurts your grind if you're stacking the diamonds. And maybe it doesn't hurt your grind if you're not stacking the diamonds. But, like, obviously, EW is not going to tell us what is actually true, so we're kind of just left to guess about it. I still think that there's not enough evidence to say that it 100% does affect it. But at the same time, I'm also not going to say that it's impossible, right? As I've always been very open that if I get enough data I will definitely change my opinion on it but I mean you guys have seen all of my grinds I've showcased the stats for all of my grinds in every single recent great one video or at least the majority of them and like my stats are all over the place using it and not using it and I feel like there's no better data for me to go off of than my own so we'll see We'll see how things are after we get a few more fallow deer. If I get like my next five fallow deer great ones, all sub 500, then I'll definitely start to believe that it probably affects them. But if we start getting a bunch of long grinds, then it's probably just going to continue to be something that I am not sure enough to say on. RNG is bugged. <laughs> I don't know, man. The thing for me, right, is I can look at all my short fallow grinds and a lot of my short whitetail grinds, right? But then I can't help but think of the fact that I'm on an 8,000 kill bear grind with herd management. My first two herd management red deer grinds were over 6,000 kills each. And I've had over 10 HM whitetail grinds that were between 1,500 and 2,500. And I had an HM moose grind that it was 2,000 kills. 2,000 kills of HM or partial HM. And then the remainder, like probably 1,200 kills of that grind on Medved were basically no HM, but there was probably still more twos than there normally would have been because I, I couldn't find all the solos. And then... The other thing to take into consideration... Oh gosh, I can't speak. The other thing... 
I've been streaming too much recently. The other thing to take into consideration also that a lot of people don't think about that I try to bring up when I can because this is something that I think is a valid thing to think about, right? If HM does affect great ones, right? If you change maps to a map that is not managed, you're technically starting a new grind because if, if HM affects them, then none of your kills that you did on your HM map would matter if you switch to the next map and are not doing HM. So technically when I got my like 45, 4,200 kills on Medved with a lot of those being HM and then I switched to Rev on Thule Coast and got it in 300 kills, that was technically a 300 kill no HM grind. There's so much stuff to think about with it that it makes it really hard to come to like a full conclusion. There's so much to consider. Which is why I don't really feel comfortable saying that it 100% does affect them. And it's also why I won't 100% say that it doesn't. All I really can say is that I don't think it does, but it could. Why have Fallow Bucks gotten much smaller throughout my grind? I'm not sure, man. I would assume that means there's something big on your map that you're missing. Usually that's what it means when you get a lot of low levels is you've got uh, bigger ones on your map somewhere. Great one, Fallow. Nice, Jack. That's awesome, dude. Congrats, man. Congrats. That is awesome. Have you noticed that herd management works for species with... I'm assuming you accidentally sent that too early. I'll wait for the rest of your message. What is stacking? Stacking is just leaving diamonds on your map. It's something that a lot of HM grinders use to aid in getting the low levels on your map quicker. Because what it does is it raises the average score of your map, right? And so you get to a point in the grind, um, if you're not stacking, where... You just can't get any more twos on the map. And then if you stack a bunch of diamonds, it helps you get a few more twos to make your HM even more effective. And then you'll be popping out diamonds like crazy after you get done stacking and kill them off. What does RNG mean? RNG means random number generator, which essentially means that it's random. What if HM depends on the animal? That's something else that people have uh, suggested too. Like maybe HM only works for some animals. Which I guess that's totally possible. Again, there's just so much we don't know. And that's on purpose, obviously. The devs don't want us to know exactly. And I don't blame them. Like, telling people how the mechanics work would... Literally just be the end of it, right? Like, people could just get whatever they want. They'd know exactly how to grind. So I see why the devs don't, like, tell us who's right in this situation. And they just have to leave it up for debate. RNG can be set differently for di different species. See, that's one of my theories as well, right? And I also... I also think that maybe some people have different RNG for different species. This is a theory that... Um, Flinters always had, and myself as well, that maybe... Maybe certain animals... Or maybe certain people will get certain... Trophies more often than, like, another person does. Like... I've never had good luck with Mela Red Deer, but there's so many people that get Mela's like crazy. So it makes you wonder, is there like different odds for different people on different animals? Like do some people's maps just spit out more of a certain animal? Because like before I did HM, I got Diamond Red Deer all the time, like... Just normally in the grind. I was getting a diamond red deer like every 70 kills. But then other people would go like 500 without a diamond. On the regular. But then there was me with no melas after over 10,000 kills. And then eventually I think we got up to 15k kills with no mela. And then eventually we ended up getting it. But it took way longer than I expected. Way longer than it did for most people. So it does make you wonder, like, does everybody have different uh, animals that they're going to get more of? Or is it just like each species has 
different chances of spawning different stuff. Like maybe the great one fallow deer just has a higher spawn rate than a great one moose to, or not moose, but a great one bear or red deer. Because it definitely seems like red deer take longer on average. It's just so hard to know. Oh, let me let me scroll up. I think I missed the message I was waiting for. Have you noticed that herd management usually works in species that go up to three or five, but it doesn't work good on species that go to nine? Because nine is close to ten. That's that's a theory I've never heard. Interesting. I mean, maybe. It's possible, man. It's very possible because that is the two. The two animals that I've had bad luck on, bears and red deer. Maybe, but the thing is like, my bear grind's an anomaly. Quite a few people get their bear really quickly. Um, I mean, Caitlin's got three great one bears in like under 3,200 kills. Um, there's a, a couple like Call of the Wild Twitch streamers that are getting great one bears sub 1,000 regularly when they grind them. I buy spawned his first great one bear in like 6,500, but then got three more in under 2K, I believe, or under 1,500 or something. There's just so much stuff to consider, which is why I don't think we'll ever have a solid answer. I personally think that the community will be debating this topic for years, because I don't think it'll be very easy to get a a full, uh, what's the word? Like, full proof in one way or the other. You should go check other lakes in case. I'll probably check them off stream. I don't want to do it on stream because it's really boring to wait two hours of game time just to see a bear show up at a lake. Bears are so bad. They're so bad at getting to their zones. Yeah, Lady does have a great one, Bear. Didn't she get it in, like, 900 and something? Definitely way uh, lower kill count than me. <laughs> Our bear grind has been a tough one. Honestly, I'm surprised that we've stuck with it as long as we have. It, it kind of blows my mind that we've been able to continue this on for 8,200 kills. We just surpassed 8,200, actually. We're at 8,201. It blows my mind that I've been able to keep interested in an animal with no antlers for this long. <laughs> All for you guys and that great one bear. You think I will start finding more rares on the new map? I mean, anything's possible outdoors forever. How do you check kills? I keep track of it on an app. I've got an app on my phone called Click Counter. And I use that to keep track of all of my kills and grinds. Every time I shoot an animal for the grind... I will just press the plus button, and it'll raise the count by one. Andy Thomas, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Enjoy all the perks that come with that, man. Thank you for renewing your membership. Another max weight. Maybe we'll get a diamond soon. We're starting to see some max weights pop up. Seeing a few max weight boys. <laughs> really, Joshua? <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, man. You know, every time I grind the bears, I just hear a bunch of stories about how everybody got their bear super quick. <laughs> Makes me sad, man. Makes me sad. Can you overherd manage a species? Because I got my population to about 90% twos, and all I was spawning was level threes. Killed a bunch of twos, started spawning fives and fours. I have no idea, to be honest, Nutria. I have no idea, to be honest. I don't know if it's possible to overmanage them. I mean, once with Red Deer, I got it managed to where we had only 20 shootable males, and the rest were fours and below. Let's go over here. We'd need 10k great ones taken and then compare how much it took for each one. The ones you don't hear are because they never got the great one. It's a bias with the data reporting. I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. 
there is a lot of people that do grinds and never finish them that we have to take into account as well. Because right now, we really only take into account the grinds that eventually ended with a kill. So that's true. Who knows how many HM grinds have never produced a great one? Who knows how many non-HM grinds have never produced a great one? Yeah, yeah, true, Jeff. That is... That is a good point that I never really thought about too much. It's such a tough thing, man. It's such a tough thing. I don't think the community will ever know. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think we will ever know for sure. I think it's forever gonna just be opinions. Opinions and... Mainly opinions based on one's own experience. If you're not past it, I think you're going to get the Great One Black Bear at 8203. Well, we're at 8205, so we are indeed past that. Mythical. Later, Clay Drew. Thank you for dropping in, dude, and thank you for the congrats as well. The data we're getting is sloppy. Yeah. It's the th that's the thing about it, right? I'm trying my best to provide all my data from my grinds, but like my grinds can only go so far in the whole mix of things, right? Because I'm only one person. All I really can do is provide my data and pay attention to like what my community gets. But the thing is, right? Like when somebody tells you how many kills they got their great one in, who knows if they were even counting accurately? I know for a fact I didn't use to count some of my grinds properly because I didn't use an actual counter. I just guessed. So like a lot of my first whitetail grinds, back before HM was even really discovered, I definitely didn't count properly. So who knows, some of my grinds that took a couple thousand could have been way shorter and I just wasn't counting properly. Because just recently I found out that I was getting about 70 whitetail an hour and I thought I was getting 100 an hour. And so I think definitely one of my, one of my, maybe even two of my non-HM whitetail grinds that we did before I started it back up again, I probably miscounted and they were actually shorter than what was, uh, than what was counted because I definitely was not getting 100. I was probably getting more like 70 to 80 an hour. But I was counting it as a hundred an hour. Because I wasn't using an actual counter app at that time. There's just so much stuff that we don't really know. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah, exactly. Like, so a couple of my whitetail grinds, like, let me look at them. Let me find which ones it would have been. So my last two grinds for no HM whitetail were 1390 and 540. So with me counting incorrectly, not, grind number 19 was probably around a thousand kills and grind number 20 was probably sub 500 because I was definitely counting incorrectly. And who knows what the ones before that were because for the longest time I always just guessed. What I would do is I would see how much I averaged per hour, and then I would just use that to, to count my kills throughout the grinds. Adam, thank you for the super chat, dude. What should I shoot my great one red deer with? Ooh, do the Glock, man. The Glock's fun. I've killed a couple of red deer great ones with the Glock, and it's always a fun time. Always a rush as well. Uh, did I miss any other super chats? No, I don't think I did. Okay, I think we're good. I think that was the last one. Spawns are screwed up. You're about to find him. Nah, the spawns aren't screwed up. I forgot to reset the time. That's what happened there. Why am I not getting respawns and where are the deer at? There's a good chance they're in different zones, NASCAR shorts. They don't always go to the same place you shoot them, especially if you're sub 1,000 kills into a grind much higher chance that they're going to places that you don't really go too often. I 
Oh, he's fleeing. Okay. I This is the first time I've hunted bears this update. So I was like, where's that bear call? And then I was like, oh, that's the fleeing thing. Okay. Makes sense. <laughs> that might make it harder to like keep track of if I've missed some bears or not. Eight thousand two hundred and seven kills. Oh man. Game crashed and all my tents and tripods despawned. None of them were returned to my inventory. Oh no, man. I am sorry to hear that. I've heard of a few people saying that that's happened to them. That sounds terrible, man. I'm sorry that happened to you. Definitely not fun, dude. Nobody likes having to go through and save up for tents again. That's always a pain. It's bad that I somewhat enjoy hunting the fallow along the coast. No, that's not bad, Tucker. Whatever you like is what you like, man. At the end of the day, whatever you're enjoying is, you know, what you should do. You can take my whitetail grinding obsession, for instance, right? Most people are tired of seeing me grind whitetail. I'm not really gaining anything from grinding whitetail aside from just trying to get the rack that I want. But I keep grinding them because I love it. At the end of the day, you just got to do what you enjoy. Do what you love and you will be much happier, right? That's the way I see it. Is the codex inaccurate in Total Harvest? Yes, it's very broken and has been for a while. Outdoor for Life, thank you for the super chat, dude. I got another diamond? Nice, dude. Nice. Congrats on your diamond. Love to see it. The short answer is Crow's Addicted. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> I am indeed. I love the Whitetail. They're fun. But Fallow are probably going to be my, my new addiction because they've got better looking great ones. Better looking great ones and they're still very fun to hunt like Whitetail. You should make your alerts your reaction to spying the Great One Bear. Whenever we get him, it's probably going to be alert worthy. That's for sure. One can only hope that we get him sometime soon. How do I keep track of kills? With an app on my phone called Click Counter. It is the most convenient and uh, accurate way I've found to keep track. They also have like the physical like click counters, but like the way I see it is I, I don't really want to buy like a just a random like a bunch of click counters for different grinds when I could just use an app on my phone. That isn't going to take up space. Eighty-two ten in the bear grind. Oh, man. Thank you, Fox. I appreciate that, dude. EW should fix the codex and add a kill counter for each animal. I would love a kill counter for each animal. Um, as far as fixing the codex, they could probably do that. But I don't think it would preserve data that was already there if they fixed it. Like, it wouldn't bring back stuff that's missing. Because I, I don't think any of that data would be stored. Because, like, it's already counted stuff incorrectly. The only way they could make it so everybody's, like, stats are accurate. And this wouldn't even work because it wouldn't count, like, older stuff. They'd have to, like, fix it and do a wipe of everybody's codex, right? And obviously, then it would still be wrong because it would have wiped anything that was previously there. So I don't think they'll ever be able to fix the codex. I don't think it retroactively saves things. It doesn't seem like something that would. Slash spawn underscore great one underscore bear underscore one. <laughs> Give me my bear. I don't really compare myself to other creators, Slazer. 
I try not to do any comparing to other people. Oh, we got two max weights here. See if there's anything good. See if we got a diamond or if it's just a bunch of mythicals and sevens. Mythical and seven. <laughs> like I. Yeah, that's what I expected. Mythical and seven. Holy. Got a piebald red deer a few days ago. Nice, Casey. That's awesome. That is awesome. Twenty one oh four. Am I using the three thirty eight? Yes, I am. This is the only animal I really hunt with the three thirty eight. Uh, where is this? Oh, there it is. Twenty one seventy one. Why do you say why do you say mythical and seven instead of eight and seven or mythical and very hard? Uh, just because like it feels weird to say eight or level or like nine. Like most people say like mythical or legendary, but you don't ever hear anybody saying like I just found a very hard black bear. Like that just sounds weird. That just sounds strange. Or like a level five medium black bear. Like I just found a medium black bear. If you don't say the five as well, it's like. I just found a medium black bear, like, it just doesn't sound the same as like, I just found a legendary black bear, or I just found a mythical black bear. Like, it just sounds better than saying I found an eight black bear. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Saying like, instead of saying two minor and just saying minor, that, that doesn't sound right. It doesn't. Or like, I just shot a minor white tail deer. That sounds terrible. <laughs> Why would you say that? Like, yeah, so you say level two for them. I just shot a level two white tail deer. And saying, like, I just found a very easy white tail deer, that just makes it sound like it's not difficult to find. So that's why we, uh, that's why we say different things for different levels of animals. Because, like, some of them just don't sound right. <laughs> like, where did all your males go? I don't know, Caden. Uh, they could be in other zones or they could be late to their zones. That's really like the only the only thing I can say if I don't know what you're grinding, how you've been grinding, like all that type of stuff. They're either late to their zones or they've respawned in other zones. My gosh, super. Thank you for the 10 gifted, man. Really appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. Congrats to Hunter Guy, Colby, Johnny Moonro, uh, Reed, Lambie, Otter, Swerve, Newt, Isaac, and Caden. Y'all just got gifted memberships from Super, so be sure to thank him. Holy dude, thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. Shot my first super rare today. It was a leucistic rue. That is, oh my gosh, that's a cool super rare. I want something like that, man. I would love something like that. Oh, we got four bears here. None of y'all are very great, though. Not gonna lie. You're looking kind of like normal bears to me. Guys, I've got this weird bug where, like, all my bears look normal. Like... I got this bug where, like, there's no great ones. How do I fix that? Like, I'll, all I see is normal bears. <laughs> do I have a level one red deer saved? I don't know. I remember there used to be, like, a brief time period where level one red deer were a thing. Uh, I never saved one while they were. I already am nappy. 
Oh, man. My bear grind's been HM for most of it, I think. The last, like, 4,000 plus kills were all herd management on uh, Black Bear. Not as extreme as we've gone with Whitetail, just because bears are a pain. But we've got it to where we get a diamond bear, like, every 40 to 50 kills, usually. Which, for bear standards, that's actually pretty insane. Normally, bears, if you're not doing herd management, take, like, hundreds of kills to get a diamond to show up. Shoot the bears, that's all you need to do. I'm trying, man! The bears don't like me. It probably randomly spawned on Layton. <laughs> Imagine that I get, like, the first ever bug where it, like, spawns on a different map. From one of the kills here. Man. Go to the menu and push new game. Yeah, that'll reset our bears. That, that'll give us better luck. Oh, aggressive. Well. Looks like we got to deal with you, eh? Come here, buddy. Come on. A little faster. <gasps> Come on. Oh, now you bark, Hunter. Now you bark. He messed around and found out. Okay, Tucker, no worries, dude. No worries, Tucker. Thank you for dropping in, man. Use the 22 like you take care of Crocs. Oh, yeah. Just shoot the 22 right next to it. That is such a fun way to get the Crocs to go away. Just bop them once with a 22 and they run like they're scared for their lives. They're like, ah, I got stung. And then they run away. It's honestly pretty hilarious. There we go. I have no idea who that is, Cole. No clue. Ah, another small male's tracks. And another small male. Ah, oh, man. Our bear luck, though. Which fur do I want for the Great One Bear? I love the Fable Chestnut. That'd be my go-to. Uh, Spirit and Cream would be okay as well, though. And the uh, Fable Spotted has kind of grown on me as of recent. I'd say it'd be number four. Not a fan of the two glaciers that much because I've seen so many people get the glaciers. And the more I've seen them, the more I'm just like, eh, they're not as special as I originally thought. Especially the one that's kind of like more faded colors. It's not that crazy looking to me. Oh yeah, my bear looks phenomenal, dude. Super good. Super phenomenal. Hey Isaiah, how's it going, dude? Nothing. All right, everybody. I think it's probably time that I jump off. My daughter is getting ready to go to bed. So we're going to have to jump off. I would have continued on for longer. You know, we'll do some bears tomorrow. I promise we'll do a little bit of bears tomorrow. But I need to jump off for the evening. So that uh, my daughter can get to bed without me uh, talking in the background. But thank you all so much for being here. I can't believe we got our third great one. Fallow deer already. Blows my mind. Once again, thank you all for the crazy support with the super chats, the memberships, the gifted memberships, the super stickers. Y'all have made this evening an insane one. And you know what's wild? Earlier earlier in the stream when you guys were spamming all those donos and stuff. I, I said it'd be crazy if we got a great one as well. It would just make this the best stream ever. Y'all made it the best stream ever, and then that great one showed up to seal the deal. It's been a wild, wild night. 
Thank you all so much. We will be back tomorrow with more bear grinding. Maybe a little fallow, maybe a little hunting Emerald Coast. We'll see. But for sure some bear grinding. But until then, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.